<laughs> What's poppin' people? Welcome back to Say Less with Kaz and Low Key. I'm your boy Kaz. Yo, it's Low Key from, from New, New Jersey, Jersey. University, University graduate. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jake in the back. What's going on, Jake, with your red hat? What's up, guys? Mag in the building, Listen, huh? I, that's, Palooza. That's, uh, okay. Oh, All right. Oh, oh, I see, I see what you're doing. Okay. I see what you're doing. I like that. The brand like is still that. strong. Edwin, like what's that. going on, bro? Back in handling the cameras and the mics and, and everything. Attention. Shout out to everybody. Grow and say less by the day, man. I'm so proud of you for listening to this podcast right now. Yo, they're now. subscribing, they're commenting. Man. Bro, they're telling me I don't know basketball. Man. Bro, like, <laughs> hey, I guess that's what y'all wanted me to, you know, yo, look like a, a yo, fool. And have, yes, I don't know basketball, but I love talking basketball with my best friend. Hey, those so are the bricks. Eat shit. Those are the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> those are the bricks. But yo, nah, real shit, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening to this podcast whether you subscribe on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash Kazim, yeah. or anywhere else that you listen to podcasts. If you're driving, if you're working right now, if you listen on Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, wherever you're listening to, I just want to thank you. Mm. Um, just in the past like month and change, I've really seen a lot of uh, growth within the show and you know, a lot of that I could definitely attribute to my guys behind the, the, the cameras and the board. So shout out to Jake and, and Eden. But of course, you got to attribute that to, to my best buddy, man. Like, I feel like, you know, you could you could have anybody in the world, right? You could have anybody on a podcast as right. far as like guests and stuff and, and having them in. But like, people just like hearing a good conversation between homies, right? I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like... This is the conversations we be having at your crib. Yeah. Or if we was on the road, like we was on tour yeah. or whatever, like we'd be talking to shit. It, it would probably be a little bit more explicit and a little bit more. Uh, I mean, we can still be explicit. I mean, but like, you know, the shit, some of the explicit. shit we do be talking yeah. about is like, ah, you know, for political reasons yeah. and, and can't corporate my reasons. Political and can't, can't fuck up the bags, <laughs> but we're getting to the point where it's like we're finding a good balance. And I just want to, you know, say thank you to all the people that have been subscribing, supporting, you know, supporting me being a new addition. And mm -hmm. I'm to the big homie for allowing me on this platform and allowing me to get my views out whether they sound true stupid factual or just plain irresponsible i'm here to continue the fucking trend yes sir yes sir shout out to whistling brother holding us yeah. down as yeah. well yeah. as yeah. always yeah uh but man we, we, this is a busy week yeah, a lot I of mean, things happen, listen, man. Uh, it's we could start at Certified Lover Boy with Dre Certified dropping Lover his Boy. new single, uh -huh. Laugh Not Cry Later with Lil Dirk. Uh -huh. Or then we could talk about Dame getting the bubble MVP. Okay, okay. Or we could talk who about who got a coin? Who got a coin? You got who a got coin? A, yeah, who got a coin? Mm -hmm. We got a coin. We gonna no, flip. We gonna flip for top. Yeah. There's a coin shortage in, in, in America right now. There's a coin shortage the, in America. There's a coin wow. shortage right now. So, uh, all right. How the fuck do we run out of coins? Uh, we ran out a lot of shit in America that we shouldn't have run out of. So I think coins are the least of my is this like worries. Is this like Cash App's fault and like PayPal Bro, like there's no metal. There's no metal. That is true. <laughs> it's going, I was at Dwayne Reed the other day on 135th and it said, yo, no more coins. We don't have any coins. There's coin shortage. And I just looked. I'm like, bro, I never thought I would see that. I never. Like, here's my thing, years, right? Man. So like when it comes to like the economy and yeah. just like currency, you forget there's like, I don't know, I don't know why, but like, I guess as a kid, I just never, it, I, this, this kind of thinking just never like matured for me. Right. But like, I always felt that you can just make more money. You can just make more coins. Well, I mean, like, like, apparently you can't. I mean, like, they make money by the fucking, like, out of the kazooas or whatever. Like, if they wanted to make a trillion dollars right now, I, I don't know what that word is. But <laughs> guess I'm not showing my degree too much right hey, now. Hey, that, that Howard University graduate. But you see who's in the vice president okay, ticket right here, that Howard University right. graduate. Don't anyway, but they yeah, do not. Every episode I'm around y'all motherfuckers until the election is over. A Howard University grad is on the ticket. Mm. Shout out to Kamala House. Anyway, mm. just for how like a fucking treasury works and how you know the US works, you would think they could just start printing shit up yeah. and creating quarters and pennies and dimes and nickels. But uh, apparently, niggas said, yo, we ain't got it. I mean, ain't shit worth like coins anymore. Like what can you what can you really get for either a quarter? Or a nickel or a dime. Four anymore. quarters will get you an icy in Harlem. You can't even get, they don't even sell quarter chips no more. Remember we grew up with. Yeah, they do. They yeah. still sell 25 50, cents? 50, 50, 50 cents. cents. They're 50 cents. Bro. Mm -hmm. All right, nigga, niggas got up the ante a little bit, bro. We're not in 1986 no more. I understand, niggas, niggas, I understand inflation. Oh, man, a little crazy right I now, understand my inflation. <laughs> I understand how this, this can change certain things. But right. my thing is like, yo, 
the certain simplicity of just being able to take a chord and be like, hey, buddy, bing, like here's flip a, it to them. Here's a chord. Get, get a lollipop. Pat. What was that? What's that, Jake? Flip a coin app. A oh, flip a coin app. All right. <laughs> oh, so, God. God. That, that's, yo, that's how. This is, is how we ran out all the fucking Ooh. pennies. Yeah. And bro, quotas. Bro, our world has now resolved. Like, it's resided <laughs> to digital. When you flip the coin as a fucking kid, who goes, who shoots first? All right, flip a quarter. Yeah. Now oh, we gotta fucking flip a quarter it's on a, a solution. Fucking... I don't see any coins. It's a lot. You know what? It's it's weird because it's like it's almost like it's like bees, right? Like when there's like a bee shortage, they they extinct. They you don't extinct. even really realize. Like at first you think like, oh yeah, you know, great, no bees, fantastic, yeah. not gonna get stung, yeah. all those stuff. But you don't realize kind of like the ecosystem you... of how important the bee yeah. is. So when you're just like nobody just has like a quarter or a penny, bro, you know who's never going anywhere? The, oh, the beehive. I was gonna ask if this was going to Beyonce. Oh boy! I knew this was. I knew this. Bro, was gonna I had to do it, man. I had to do the corny joke today. All right, fine, whatever. Flip, all right, flip the coin. Flip the flip coin. The coin. What are we the doing? Heads. Heads. What are we talking? Heads is certified heads. lover boy. Certified Tails lover boy. is Dame in the in the bubble. All right, it's flipping. Wow, this is so <laughs> technology. If you guys don't know what's going Tails. on right now, Jake is flipping a digital coin on his phone. <laughs> so Tails. we can decide what topic we're going to talk Tails. about. So we got Dame. Tails. All right, so, All right, so lead about. it off. Lead it off. Lead it, it off. Dame. Lead it off. Dame wins again. Dame wins again. Um, it's, it's, it's rare when you start seeing a player kind of like go on the type of run mm-hmm. that Dame Lillard is on right now, right? Mm-hmm. Like we were talking like Iverson in 01. Mm-hmm. We talk about Jordan in 88. Mm-hmm. We talk Kemba in Big East tournament. Mm-hmm. We talk about, uh, God, who, who was I going to say? Um, we talk, we Steph do, Curry in 2016. We can do uh, Braun. You can do Bra- Miami Braun. Yeah. Miami yeah. Braun. To me, yeah. who I thought that was, you know, the peak of his powers. Yeah. That second, I think that, that second championship run mm-hmm. when yeah. they fucking won like 30 games in a row or some shit. Yeah, 27. It's rare that players get on this sort of hot streak. Right. That Dame Lillard is on right now. And... Before we get into anything, shout out John Morant too, because he, yeah. he showed the hell up. He had like 35 points, I mean, 30 something points, yeah. rookie year. He ain't no rookie though, man. Anybody yeah. who saw him at Murray State, anybody who saw him in AU knew that John Morant is that deal. Yeah. But you know, he gave it, he gave, he gave Dame Muller his best. Bro, you know what I mean? All those players like CJ McCullough, fucking Dame. Um, they were like, yo, that boy is, is cold. Is, is cold. Cold boy, boy man. Cold boy. Boy's but in any case, you know, it was a bomb burner. It feels like every every Blazers game now has been, been like. They've been all close. They've all been, they've all been you know, heart attacks. They've yeah. been cardiac games. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it comes to the Portland Trail Blazers. But what's crazy right now is to see that momentum that Dame has. Like, this is probably the most, probably going to be one of the most scrutinize eight seed versus one seed series. Are they going to have that energy that for the Lakers? Really because a lot of people are like, you know, this ain't a typical eight seed. Like when you think of eight seeds, you think of like, you know, the Grizzlies looked more like a real eight seed. They're led by a rookie. They got a lot of young players. Mm-hmm. They got a couple of vets. You know, you can tell they're a few years away from really putting it together, right? Mm-hmm. But Dame, you know, you got to remember, the Portland Trailblazers were a couple bounces away. Well, not a couple bounces away. They were a couple games away They're from right. going to the finals last year. Right, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. they, you know, this is a team without Carmelo Anthony that almost went to the finals last year. But, you know, they went through a slew of injuries. Right. You know, they didn't pack it in like they could have, like, right. the, like the Warriors did. Yeah. Like, they didn't say, you know what, we're just going to punt the season, get us a nice little draft pick, like, save some money, not sign nobody. We're going to be all right. That kind of speaks to the to how ill Dame Lillard is, cause he kept them afloat yeah. for the whole season, and you know, and now all the receipts are coming back. If you see them on Twitter, he was calling his shot. He's like, "Yo, we go, we gonna see, we gonna, we gonna be in the playoffs. We gonna but make let it." Let me ask you this: What's up? From the person that doesn't know basketball, <laughs> would this be the same type of environment if the bubble did not exist? Would they be Not at all. A, a, a treacherous, lethal, exciting team to watch had the bubble, had the COVID not affected the NBA season? Not at all. I really do believe uh, there are unfortunate circumstances of COVID-19 yeah. when it comes to sports. And there are some fortunate circumstances of COVID-19 when it comes to sports. Right. And I think... The Portland Trailblazers have been on the positive end of that. They know? are they're ones that benefit the 1,000%, fortunate side. One thousand percent, because there's no home court advantage. Right. I hate to, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, make it seem bigger than it is, but it's really hard 
going into Staples Center. And doing what they do. The first, you know, I mean, the Lakers haven't been in the playoffs in almost six years. Not only are, is that a star oh, for them, star fan, because I'm a Knicks fan. I'm right. fucking a, act yeah. like you're a Laker. Oh my God, it's been six whole years since we haven't been a, go fuck yourself. All right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, get the fuck out of here with your playoff droughts. All right. So not only that, you know what I mean? This is a, this is a year that, you know, a lot of things happen in the NBA, the passing of Kobe Bryant, mm-hmm. LeBron playing like LeBron, AD, you know what I mean, first Giannis. series with the Lakers, Giannis. you know what I mean, Giannis, like, it is not easy to go into Staples Center and win a playoff game. It's not easy to go into anybody's home court and, and win a playoff Even game. Even your own home court. Even like, your own home court. For but I, I would rather not go to the Staples Center and try That's to, what I'm to saying. try to win a home yeah. That's why I'm thinking if this was regular circumstances and the Blazers got in by the skin of their teeth, it's like, congratulations, Blazers. Now you got to go to the Staples Center for two games and try and win one mm. and come back to Portland. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot to ask. Like, we're not even thinking, like, as humans, like, that's a lot to ask. Traveling. Yeah. Being in L.A. Distractions. Distractions. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's not even just, like, a regular playoff game. Like, you're in Los Angeles. It's not like, right. oh, I'm flying to Milwaukee, and I'm just going to chill in a hotel or whatever. Like, it's yeah, a lot. Nah, we're going to Poppy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Poppy or, or, after, or even yeah, worse, after practice. <laughs> even worse, Poppy's coming to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and you, know, like, you know, Meal and them be, like, Meal and Floss be DJing in the fucking Staples oh, Center. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. It's a vibe. Oh yeah! Shout, out to, Shout out to Mio. Yeah, Shout out to Mio. Shout out to my guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are my guys right there. But it's it's there's none of that. Yeah. You're you're in the bubble. There's no travel. This is why I say to you no every episode: home. this is the easiest road to that fucking trophy. It's man. I, I, well, the easiest it's going to be. There's never going to be a situation ever like, yes, like, like this, this. Yes. where there all the variables are gone, are completely out of there. It's can you beat me? It's mano y mano. This is like, yo, this is AAU tournament shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, all right, we in the same hotel. We eating the same food. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe like our fathers or, you know, our travel, you know, whoever's around us. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Like you said, the variables are not there. They don't exist. So now mm-hmm. it's focus, lock in mentally. You have no reason not to be physically in shape. You have yeah. no reason not to be studying the other team. Now, you know, the brackets no lined family, up now. And now you can. So whoever doesn't win, bro. You had the least amount of distractions to keep you away from getting to that trophy. All so, right. So today, you know, I mean, the playoffs would, would be starting. And I think the Blazers and Lakers don't play until Tuesday, Tuesday right? Yeah. So I play Tuesday night. And, you know, granted, there's – and we'll run down the playoff, yeah, you know, seedings yeah, in a minute. But I, I want to yeah. focus on Blazers-Lakers since by the time we do our next episode – This will be what, be, Tuesday? Yeah. yeah this yeah, will be yeah. at what? This will be out tomorrow, Monday. Okay. So, you know, let, let's, let's get into the... That seems like... Let's get into the immediate action. There's a, there's a handful of intriguing nice. matchups, and that's at the top of the list, right? Because the Lakers, just like the Blazers aren't a typical eight seed, the Lakers aren't necessarily a typical one seed either, right? Like, they don't have Avery Bradley. They don't have Rayshon Rondo. They're going up against a team with an elite backcourt. Mm-hmm. Like, even when CJ McCollum with his broken back was giving Ja Morant the drugs in the right. fourth quarter. Like, and I love me some Ja, but like that's, that, that was, that's, that is gonna be a moment that lives with him for the rest of his career, bro. Right. Like sometimes you need that public spanking. Sometimes you need that to push so, you through the that offseason. That's that drive that's gonna keep him motivated, <clears throat> you know, course. whenever the next season starts. And he earned their respect. He, like that's one thing. He you earned earn their respect. respect from your peers that are damaging shit right now. Mm-hmm. Especially like, you know, CJ and, and Damian when it, you know, when they speak up for you as yeah. a rookie. And, you know, as a rookie, sometimes, depending on, you know, how big your ranking is, it's yeah. hard to get the respect of the OGs. It's hard yeah. to get the respect of the niggas that are killers right now. Yeah. The Blazers were, were, were the hot, or are arguably the hottest team in the NBA. Literally right now. And a 19 year old. The Suns. Yeah, even the Suns, right? Yeah, like yeah. Outside of Phoenix. But shout out to but, the Suns. Yeah, they lost. But, you know, a rookie almost got them out of here. Yes. Booker. So that is a lot. That they went 8 0. No, see, the Suns went eight. See, no, I'm saying Suns went eight. You know what's crazy is the Suns' last game and the Blazers' last game. Uh, the before the whole before the COVID, pandemic. Yeah, was Blazers Suns and the Blazers won. Really? Yeah. So, so they 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 went to this. The shit. Blazers, the Blazers got a lot of statement wins this year, right? And I said, you know, I mean, the reason why the Blazers and Lakers scare me the most is because on Kobe night, like. Damon Lillard went into Staples Center and beat them that night. Granted, right. they're super emotional, the most emotional basketball game you ever. probably ever have to play. So right. I'm not going to 
go ahead and say, okay, well, that's how. There was a handicap. Right. Like, niggas still went in there with the intent to win. Of course, 1,000%. But, I mean, yeah, like, emotions are going to be way different from a playoff game than, like, a couple Kobe of days did. from the most legendary basketball player to ever play for your franchise, like, suddenly passing away. I'm not saying all that. What I am saying is, though, matchup-wise, Joseph Nurkic is looking real good, you know what I mean? And I always said Anthony Davis is the difference on every Laker matchup. Like, no matter what you say about Braun, no matter what you say about backcourts and the depth and Kuzma, if he's going to ball out, there is no answer for Anthony Davis. Not going to say Joseph Nurkic is the answer either, but you got to give him somebody to kind of, like, offset you know which I mean? they don't. Which they don't. Which, uh, Joseph Nurkic, he's, he's no scrub. Like, and I said, I caught call a lot of heat on Twitter because I said, I feel like Nurkic is going to bother AD. I didn't say he's going to bust his ass. I didn't say he's going to lock him up. I and said, the opposing opposition was like, he's gonna, the AD is going to body this kid. Yeah, you, you what, know, because he has in the past. Okay. Like, you remember okay. what Bron did? The dunk on Nurkic? Yes, <laughs> so I remember when, when LeBron threw Nurkic through the rim in his Cleveland years, yes. but <laughs> That was a crazy dunk. Nurkic has been balling this bubble. You know what I mean? Like, he's been playing very well. And to compare 2018 stats to now, it's not in the season. It's the bubble. Like, I think all bets are kind of out the window. So, we got Nurkic and AD. I feel still, obviously, AD is definitely the better player. Right. But you have to account for Nurkic. He hasn't won in the playoffs either. AD. There yeah. you go. As, as much as he's been great, he hasn't had a ton of playoff success. Right. On top of that... Got that backcourt. No Rondo. Rondo might be back in time for like maybe his the second was what? Uh, I think a thumb. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Some broke okay, a thumb. Yeah, yeah so he might thumb. he might be back. Okay. Someone Chris Paul. But even <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and it starts Tuesday. Starts Tuesday. And he's been out for how long? Uh, gosh, the whole well, bubble. He has yeah, a, whole I think bubble. he got, I think he broke like his two thumb two weeks before. Two weeks before the game. So it's about like a smooth month. Yeah, just about. Just six about. Weeks. He, might, he might be even a healthy Rondo. That's who a, checking the who, te- who checking Dame right now? Uh, not <laughs> Even Rondo. if he's healthy, my nigga Jr. J- oh. Hennessy Smith. Gosh, no. Okay, nah. <laughs> not love me some Jr. <laughs> and that's not even a shot at Jr. I'm just saying Dame Lillard is on a pl- on a different fucking planet right, right now, right, right, right. and you're gonna have to just pencil in the fact that he's getting forty. He's getting forty. Just his average, it. so his average is gonna be what through that? Give me to a the playoffs. Nine. That series. Through that series? Yeah. Oh God. Thirty and above. Be, for it to be oh, def, I'm, that's an easy thirty and above. Thirty five average. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him thirty four. Thirty four game. Wow. Thirty four game in a series. Those are Michael numbers. Yeah. He got. Wow. He got. He got a fifty burger in him. Like easily, like you know. He's no, got I know that. that got, but it's like he's got. If he averages thirty five mm. a game, he's got to do at least forty five. Twice, or yeah. three times. Do you think? Do you think Braun takes that challenge? If, if Dave's going, I would going love up? to see Braun. I think this year's Braun does. I think he has to. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen Dame's, years. Seventeen years in, I think he's. I think he can take that. If challenge. Dame's going nuts, like Braun's gonna have to be like, all right, like I got him. But, but then, then what Dame does? What Dame does is become more, even more of an aggressor mm-hmm. to put Braun in foul trouble. That there you go. You put him in foul trouble, and on top of that, now you got a mismatch with Carmelo Anthony. Because I'm assuming I just off, totally off forgot top, about Melo. I'm thinking. Braun Mello easily like that's that's you know that saves him on on defense and you know he could he could guard Mello and, and vice versa right but I mean offensively the Blazers have way more weapons than the Lakers right now yeah right now like Gary Trent Dame Lillard C J McCollum Carmelo Anthony Joseph Nurkic those are five people that can get you twenty easily yeah. are we looking at an upset. Listen. I don't want to listen, listen again. Listen. From someone who doesn't know basketball, I'm asking Cass. <laughs> listen. Are we looking at an upset? I'm not going to say it's going to be an upset. I still think the Lakers take this. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a dog fight though. The Lakers given that given the fact that the Blazers are a comp- uh, an offensive juggernaut. Mm-hmm. They are very good defensively, the Lakers. They are they are well equipped to handle gotcha. a lot of that. But we haven't seen a lot of it in the bubble. They ha- I don't even think they played their best ball yet in the bubble. And granted, we do the same, we make the same mistake we'd make every single year with LeBron James, where he's kind of coasting into the playoffs mm-hmm. and thinking, oh man, this is gonna be the year. This is gonna be the year he go. When's the last time a LeBron James led team didn't go to the finals? Like, if he's in, he's been to the finals, what, 
six times? The last nine times? Eight well, no, times? Besides, 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 besides last year. Because well, last year he was injured. He was no, injured. Lakers weren't before even in the playoffs. 2010. But before that, he went to the finals every year with the Cavs. Every year mm-hmm. with Miami. Went to the finals every year with Miami. And then that was came last back. year. That was 2010 would have been when he got knocked out by the okay. Celtics. Yeah, so 2010, I think, was the year. Was it the big three Celtics? Yep. The big three Celtics were the last team to eliminate LeBron him in the out of, like, Yeah, and he walked out and took his jersey off for Yeah. That is a crazy... Like, how is that not, like, the stat leading everything on ESPN? Well, no. Well, Shannon always leads with that stat. And he's, then, and if then, he's in... He's going to the finals. And, That's and, and a Skip, sad. Skip's always, Skip's counterpoint is always like, how many finals has he lost? You, you, see, what Skip, you see what Skip did here, though. Yeah. By setting up a beef with Dame, now with the first round matchup, no matter what happens, like, he can rip on Dame or LeBron. <laughs> Listen, there's Just, nobody, there's no pundit happier that Dame Lillard was balling than Skip Bayless. Like, Skip Bayless needed his new foil. He needed his new bra for the he next... He needed that new target. The, oh, my God. Now, now every target. day is all oh, it's Dame's It's literally, yo, literally a like, fucking tweet. I'm like, you wonder why this guy is on your ass. <laughs> you, whether he performs or not, you yeah. wonder why this nigga has a disdain for you. Yeah, I mean, we know the jig... Like, we should all know the Skip Bayless jig by now, Right now, of course, of course. It's right. an extremely profitable jig. Yeah. But a jig nonetheless. <laughs> it's like, a nice like, finesse. He finds a guy... That he could target, that as a face, that is a a fan favorite. So he could. He, I remember reading somewhere that Skip Bayless doesn't even read his mentions. He just reads the 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 like how many how many people like, yeah how many like people it. react okay. to the tweet like he doesn't care who, who agrees with him who doesn't yeah. agree with him like so he just throws he that he, shit like he just throws like the bomb just he like knows smoke he bird, got yeah. something if people are talking about it win lose or draw it's like Floyd Mayweather they're paying the same amount of the money to watch me win or watch me lose but as long as they paying and Skip knows the game better than anybody mm-hmm. and the best thing for him is that Dame took the bait. Yeah. LeBron never took the bait. Yeah. As long as we've known LeBron. LeBron has never mentioned Skip's name. LeBron's Ever. never been. Never not, I mean, not to my knowledge. Never mentioned Skip. I, never been on first take. Mm-mm. Never did, 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 did nothing. Didn't, K, didn't KD diss Skip in that track? KD, KD, KD be in his feelings. I'm so sure like, he did. Yeah. KD, yeah, KD <laughs> did. That's a, that sounds like a very Durant-like. <laughs> and, he, and he has <laughs> a fucking burner account, so KD's already taken a bait years nah, ago. I can't, even, I can't even get tight at KD no I'm, more. I'm, like, I'm not mad at anybody who reacts. KD, KD is, 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 is tweeting with his chest now. Like, yeah, got to. It's, it's wild that like he's kind of flipped that whole like burner thing. And to like, yo, sometimes you gotta lean in on it. And to his advantage, like he's you definitely gotta, leaning yo, into you it. Get, like, you got caught, nigga. Let's lean in on it. Like people are always saying, like, oh my god, Kevin Durant. Why does he? He tweets like he's such a regular nigga. Like he tweets like he's just one of us. I'm like, well, why not? I mean, like aside from the millions, like why not? The what nigga makes him, is still a basketball fan and has emotions. So yeah. yeah, technically, yeah, he is one of us. But what yeah. makes him different than anybody that you tweet every single day? Nothing. Nothing. Like, and and you can't like. That's what that's what's so corny to me. Like. Just because he reacts to you, now he's now he's corny? Right. Y'all spend, well, you've been like, you've been probing this nigga the entire fucking time. So oh, that makes you at least cornier. Exactly. It's, it's, it's funny to your boy. It's funny to your boy how people react to KD. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the Skip Bayless jig is a, a super profitable jig. And Aaron Rodgers had a quote this week. And if Jake, you could pull that up. Um, just about... Talking heads and you know we yeah, we were talking we, did we talk about that last week or we were talking I mean, you were just talking, I think no, we were we were just, talking we were off just, air yeah. oh yeah yeah okay okay I, yeah I watched that podcast he did so what did he what did he say exactly because he made I'll, I'll get the he exact made some valid quote. points and that's two people who but see he made he, he made he valid basically... points about journalism he wasn't like when he was talking about talking heads I felt like the quote wasn't the direct uh, reflection of what he was exactly talking about. So it was like, kind of saying that like uh, the talking head shows where they basically pin two arguments against each other is basically for the sake of ratings. Like mm-hmm. I believe the host mentioned first take mm-hmm. in the context of like they basically disagree to That's get, to get ra- No, but like they disagree for the sake of disagreeing just to get ratings to make points. Right. Whereas like the show they were on, he was saying was like good about they actually believe the stuff they're saying right i can understand and, like, if like, people do it for clicks i understand that if like, you're Twitter, disagreeing by about retweeting like it's just info getting put out there yeah 
and like people put out info for clicks retweets by the time it's like proven wrong it doesn't matter you already got what you got out of it but no. i would i would i would say that if the points you're disagreeing aren't believable like some of these points that people are making are facts that like okay like i could see that that side or this opinion like oh i can see why you would say that it's not like they're just throwing shit out there and seeing with six on the wall so mm-hmm. when i read that article even just read that clip i'm like he was more mad about the journalism Mm. Like the the talking head shit will always be talking heads. Opinions yeah. are gonna come a dime a dozen. You can't really do anything about that. Yeah. But if you're talking about journalism, that's a whole nother conversation that you can have from way back when. It, it, you see, here's the thing that kind of bothers me about the whole situation. Aaron Rodgers has very valid points. Like yeah. he, I get where he's coming from. Especially I think it was just that, phrased wrong for me. I, my thing is this: like those talking head shows, I can't even be mad at because. 98% of those people are accomplished journalists. Like, those are people that have been at, like, very reputable newspapers and magazines for mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. But you know what? That shit don't really pay like that no more. <laughs> but you know what does pay? Getting on TV and talking, talking shit. shit. Like, that's what it... That's just the name of the fucking game. But sometimes, like, I, I lend more credibility to a lot of these athletes who have turned analysts because... They're speaking from experience right. and they understand numbers and percentages and breakdowns and, you know, psychologies of, of, of certain mental players and just how, how the game works. So honestly, like and me, somewhat being a journalist, I get what Aaron was saying, but yeah. like I from I like when you speak from experience. So that's why I'll sit and listen to Shannon talk all fucking day and yeah. night. Like this nigga kind of knows what the hell and he's that's, talking that's, about. That's how it used to be. Like the, 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 the formula used to be you got a journalist. You got uh, a lady, mm-hmm. and then you got an athlete who could speak from experience. Like, it's color and play-by-play. Play. Right. Play-by-play play is the guy who, his job is to call the action, da 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 Color is, well, this is what happened here because this is that. And usually you get guys who have lived it, played it, been about that life, so they can explain it to people And it's home. not Troy Aikman, who's... Um... Tony Romo. Tony Romo. Tony Romo. If you want to talk about color, if you want to talk Mm -hmm. about play by play, if you want to talk about charisma, this guy is calling plays (laughs) before the plays start. It's like it's like knowing like what your girl wants to eat before she says it. (laughs) That's how good Tony Romo is in the booth. We know how impossible that is. We know how impossible that shit is. Know what your girl wants before she even opens her mouth. That's yeah. how good Tony Romo is in the booth. Nah, but so okay, so so here's the thing, right? So with Skip Bayless, I mean, he's been he's the, he's the godfather of the Talking Head show. Like he started it off in and first Stephen take and Cold Pizza, even like Cold Pizza days. I wasn't I wasn't outside for Cold Pizza days mm-hmm. with uh, the homeboy that used to do the show with Dana Jacobson and. Uh, fuck, when Skip was super young and Stephen A was still talking reckless and. The early days of first take, right? I forgot the dude's name, but he was there. He was the he was the first moderator before um, like Carrie Champion and mm. like Molly and all. He was a white dude, handsome white guy with super TV hair. Mm. I don't feel like anybody should kind of come at Skip like this because he's the OG of it. Like Skip and Stephen A, it's like they made it an art. Like, the art of the take is something that they created. So I can never get mad at the people who made it a multi-million dollar industry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where they've got all these sons. Like, I'm, well, we're, we're their sons. Like, yeah, that's anybody, just, literally, like anybody who has a podcast of sports, anybody who has, you know what I mean, a, a, a show where they talk shit with their friends, and mm. I believe this, you believe that. Like, yeah. they created, they help popularize, I won't say created, they help popularize a formula that rejuvenated something in sports journalism when a lot of it was dying and not being able to be paid the way that they're used to. Back in the day, you could have, you just had a newspaper and you had a beat and you follow the guy around all season and you do your interviews and then you do you, you get your magazine or you have your radio show. Right. Like it was always something. And as technology changed, the world had to change. So I can't get mad at Stephen A or Skip or Max or, or, or Shannon Sharp. But what because, you're not going to do is this. Mm. You're not going to disrespect my game. To your point, yes, okay. respect. 
homage, honor, got you. Mm -hmm. But when I put up buckets and when I'm getting busy, Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if you was born in the 1940s, sir. (laughs) I put in work. Mm. I deserve some respect on my name. And if I can get to you because I'm not coming on your fuck ass show, (laughs) I'm going to get on my Twitter and I'm going to let you know you was a clown. You a coward and you're yeah. a punk. Yeah. And I'm still nice. And it's no disrespect to your family, no, no disrespect <laughs> to your legacy, but what you will not do because a lot of people follow Skip and Steven and Max and Shannon and all these guys. So yeah. people will lean on their opinions. Yeah. What you're not going to do is disrespect what I put up, these numbers, what I'm doing in this bubble and what I'm going to do in this bubble during the playoffs. So please understand, we respect you. We love you guys. Put some respect on our fucking name. Skip, I'm not mad at you. I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking for Dave. This, this is general. general. This is general. I'm just speaking general. for Dave. So general. that's what I get what you're saying. So, no, so yeah. yeah. So I say all that to say this is the best thing to happen to Skip Bayless because now he's got a new guy. And yeah. now he's got a new target. And Dame Lillard is right now the hottest basketball player on the planet. Yeah. Nobody's touching him right now, right? Yeah. How much would the league change if... He went on an improbable run past the Lakers, past the Western Conference, to an NBA Finals. Like, how much would the spectrum of how we look at so many players change? Because right now, the big conversation is, oh, he ain't better than Steph, though. Is he better than Steph, though? Like, everybody, nobody wants to do the comparison. Nobody Mel- wants to Mello be like... said he was the best player he ever played with. Melo's played with a lot of guys. Harden. Played Mel- with Harden. Westbrook. And Harden. Westbrook. Harden. Harden. Westbrook. 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 He wasn't yeah. the answer yeah. in Denver. But. No, I mean, still regardless, you still play with these guys. Right. Like, we know who Allen Iverson was. Yeah. So. so, no. So, my, my thing is, like, I feel like, if, you know, obviously, it's the championship will always change your legacy, clearly. Like, we've seen it with Kawhi. We've seen it with the Warriors. Right. We've seen it with LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. Not so much KD. Like, for obvious reasons. You know, people will think how they want to think about his championships. Right. Um, I'm not one of those people. I'm like, a championship is a fucking championship, whatever. But, like, you know. A championship always changes legacies. I feel like somebody who has the most to gain and has the most improbable run to go through to make it happen. And this is me obviously putting the cart before the horse or whatever. But where does that jump Dame to? Like, if I was literally on. about to ask you that question. If the Blazers <laughs> from the AFC go all the way to the finals, win the finals, what does that one do for Dame as a star player in Portland, and then what does that do for him as a star in the NBA? I'll tell you this, not all rings are made equal. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of chips, you know, aren't, they carry a lot more weight. I want my chips with the dip. I want my chips with the dip. Like, I mean, Dirk's, Dirk's one chip in Dallas probably outweighs KD's two. In Golden State. Yeah, of course it does. You know what I mean? Like there's an asterisk. There's 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 an asterisk over there. You know what I'm saying? Like certain, you know, MJ's rings kind of stand up to each other because there was it was just Oh, dominant. those are those are not I wouldn't say equal, but those are just the Those are the like, standards. Yeah, that's where you look up. I feel you, like us as fans, we always have we always do that thing in our head about what it took for you to get to those championships. And we hold Jordan's rings in such high regard because that's the team who drafted them. I feel like that's the standard. That's the standard, right? Yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah. nobody really even... Built it to, like, he, he's lost so many times in the conference finals. Yeah. Took so many L's, did it three times, then left, came back and rebuilt another team and mm. did it three more times. So I won dramatically, too. Like, yeah, made like, the big plays. Yeah, made, made the, the big, big shot. shot. Yes, so yeah. That so that's a standard that you look at, like... That's what I want my championship run right. to look at. And I don't think, obviously, probably like by the time we're going, we're not going to see someone do it twice, three times mm-hmm. in a row. So, like, the standard is get one in your hometown, get one making the big shots, mm-hmm. get one being the underdog, and then get one being the superstar, which Jordan did. So, I I'll think. Even, I'll even rank it. I'll rank it like this, uh-huh. right? Like, there's a lot of people that could probably win the NBA title this year. But I feel like it would definitely mean more for others than it would for 
somebody else. Like LeBron, I don't think the pressure's on Bron to win a chip this year. Like I think it is. I think there. Of course, there's always pressure. I don't pressure, think it's as much. But yeah, it's not like he's not won before. It's not like he has. He's it's not a different pressure in his year seventeen. There's this pressure. But it's not like there's no story around it. If he yeah. lose, if he doesn't win a championship, no one's his his status as one of the greatest ever doesn't change. But if he wins, but if he wins, yeah. it helps one thousand percent, one thousand percent. It gets closer because everybody's chasing different things. And he becomes right? the first player to win a championship for three teams, three different teams. And on top of that, That's everybody cool. Cool. everybody has different things that they're chasing. Like Bron's chasing the goat, yeah. chasing Jordan, and chasing those Laker greats right. too. Giannis is chasing Braun. Like, right. Giannis has, like, you know, he's probably going to get a second MVP. He's got the best team in the league, best record in the league, all that type of shit. And a chip for him and the team that drafted him in for your second MVP, like, now you're in a different realm of people we talk about, right? Kind of like the chip that Kawhi won last year, where he was undoubtedly the best player on the team, first year on the team, like... It's it's rare that you could play one season with one team, win a championship, and leave. Right? <laughs> like, Kawhi could also be the first player to win a championship for three teams. Three different teams. There you go. But it's, it's not it's, exciting to watch. I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't, it's, 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 no disrespect. But I, don't I feel like I feel like yeah. So <laughs> granted, okay. So there's they, those championships will mean something. I feel like Dames would mean more if he won it. I feel like Giannis's might mean more if they won it. I feel like Toronto's would mean more if they won it. For like Coach Nick Toronto Nurse, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I feel like there's, there's. I think the, the, the story, the story. Now is... the Rockets are interesting. Why? The Rockets are interesting because if they somehow pulled it off, right? I feel like for some reason they're the one team that if they won the championship, everyone would be like, "Oh, well, that was the bubble season. That don't count." <laughs> see, that's what I'm like. See, this is what I'm thinking about. People this always. Whole... People always look at shit that James Harden. I don't know why. People always look at shit that James Harden does as, uh, you know I, what I mean? For some, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why. why I, mean, I thought it was just me. Like, like is, he not, is, is he not exciting to watch? Is, like, is there no story around him? him? I'm like, just, what is he? Doesn't... It? Play defense, and he or he does this year a little bit more. But yeah. In the past, he hasn't played defense, and he also hasn't played well in big games. In the that, that's one. So that's like, one. That's why the talking heads don't like him as much because in the big moments, like they were up three two on Golden State, they lost. He had that game six versus the Spurs. I think that was when mm-hmm. Kawhi was there. Mm-hmm. We got like blown out at home mm-hmm. by like twenty without Kawhi. I remember that. Um. So yeah, I think, and he just also is vocal about how he wants to put up stats. Like, yeah, so he's I mean, like, I want to get MVP this year. I want to average thirty. Like, he's definitely. Um, I think one reason why people don't really fuck with James Harden like that is that they kind of feel like he's like a two K cheese. Like he's like he's James Harden, and I've said this on on Flagrant back in the day. Wait, but wait, like, wait, a two K cheese? He's like a two K cheese. Like you ever play two K? And you find like that one move or that one player that is just, it's just fucking unstoppable. <laughs> and you can't like that one year J.R. Smith was unstoppable as a Denver Oh, yeah. oh my it's god. It's just funny you say that because I used to do that shit in NBA Live and like my boy would always like kill me. He was like, yo, you always do that fucking move and you always use that one player. And I'm like, yeah, because you, you can't stop, stop it. it. <laughs> like, so yeah, okay. Like, the 2K James Harden just made me laugh. Figured out a way to not only have the ball all the time. And have like a Steve Nash sort of like control in the game where, you know, if, if it, he gets all the assists, he gets all the points because the ball's almost in his hands all, all the time. time. Yeah. And as soon as he passes to you, you better shoot. Like, so it kind of feels like it's like an honor for him to get the ball to you. Yeah. Like, you know, that's <laughs> not even like that's that's the that's the scheme. Like right. the scheme is spread him out. Dance on him. Nobody's saying James Harden isn't one of the most talented offensive players ever to do it. He definitely is. Spread him out, dance on him, kick out, shoot. We're, and we're going to shoot a stupid amount of three-pointers. And we're going to make sure we get to the free throw. And James Harden has a gift of getting to the free throw line where he shoots an enormous amount of free throws every game. So people will look at it and be like, oh, whatever. Right. Like, it's, 
Nucci. 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 If the Rockets win, then they would have like the shortest lineup by far to win a yeah. championship ever. Like Robert Covington's their center. He's Man, six, that seven. Shit be on the Rockets win. That's gonna be boring as fuck. I don't know. I don't if know. the Rockets win, I want to see a lineup with a six-seven yeah. center. Watch like, that that's crazy. Listen, I love watching James Harden play. I, I think I, just, I think James Harden is a legendary bucket getter. He is somebody who, you know what I mean, has just, just his offensive creativity is just... He is, uh, I'm not, okay, he is extremely, him and Russ are very fun to watch together. Yeah, I, I can't, love Russ. I, yeah, I can't, I can't deny like, that. Like, Russell Westbrook's the guy, like, if you're doing, like, a, a full draft of your league and, you're like, who do you want on your team playing for you every day? Right. You do, I'm just, I'm coming at it from a perspective of, like, the, like the story, like, we're watching the, play, the Blazers unfold the story of, like, there's so many... You know, just sub stories with the Blazers. Mm-hmm. Damian Lillard just going crazy every night. Carmelo really showing the league fans, commentators of what he really is about. And then them being the eighth fucking seed and doing what the fuck they got to do. And then Damian winning the MVP. The mm-hmm. story around them is phenomenal. It's beautiful to watch. It's color. It's vibrant. And then you got the Rockets. It's like, oh, you know, Harden and Westbrook, are cool. They're two monsters. We'll mm-hmm. see how far they get. <laughs> but that's what I'm just saying. Like, me personally, because I'm not the big stat well, guy in this and a third. Watching the Blazers, this shit is fun as fuck. The Thunder playing the Rockets first round. The Thunder so, Rockets how- is a fun matchup. I think Russ is still hurt, right? He might yeah, miss sure, the first sure. game or something. Uh, I'm but not sure. Thunder Rockets, the, the Chris Paul revenge. Tour, you know what I There's mean? There's something like, about Chris Paul that annoys the <laughs> fuck out of me. <laughs> what is it? It's just like, bro, you know that kid in the in class that had every fucking answer when he raised his hand, and then he just looked annoying. <laughs> like you just wanted, like he would sit up there, and you just wanted to throw your pencil at the back of his head. But you knew he was smart, and you knew he was good at what he did. I didn't know was, he was going to tell. And you knew he was going to tell. There was just something fucking annoying about Chris Paul that I just cannot put my thumb on. Like uh. I, I look at him, I want to squeeze his head like a balloon. <laughs> I don't know God what damn. it is about you, Chris you Paul. You went around though. Bro, bro like, you, ain't the, you ain't the only one. Chris There's Paul. something so annoying about Chris Paul. He has bro. that Russell effect West. on people. Phenomenal player. Phenomenal Russell player. Russell is out for game one. Russell's out for game one. Okay. Yeah, they just summed about so Chris here's the Paul thing. I can't. <laughs> I totally, I almost, I'm almost favoring the Thunder in that series. I mean, I like Shea Gilgis Alexander a lot. A lot, lot. Like, mad the Knicks didn't draft him a lot. Got a sneaker. Oh, is he got Converse now? Yeah, sneaker Converse. deal? Shout out, shout out to Converse. Um, no sneakers today, by the way. We're doing MAGA socks. MAGA socks! <laughs> Black America! MAGA socks. This is no, America. Just kidding. just kidding, obviously. No. Good oh, God, uh, Mondays. <laughs> Mondays, come on. Yeah. It's Sunday, relax. Jesus like, Christ. Not today. Um, I, like, I think Chris Paul's had a great year. I think, you know, they're going to miss that girth of, like, Stephen Adams and, you know, a lot of, a lot of big boys over there. Word? Girth? It's an appropriate word to use. You know, girth? Just say height. It's gir- Discord, no, it's Discord girth. is popping off. Girth is a different different type of term. Everyone's tall in the NBA, but they're not all girthy. Yeah. Everyone's... Ask Will Smith about that. Yeah. Listen, listen. Girth. Listen, this is the Lord's Day. I don't need you to use girth. <laughs> what, why, why does the word girth make you mad uncomfortable? It just makes me very uncomfortable. Why? And look how comfortable you're sitting saying the word girth. Gir- what's wrong with girth? It's, a f- it's not, it's a not like I'm saying he's thick. Thick, thick is better. <laughs> I didn't say he's thick. I didn't say he's thick. Steven Adams is not thick. He's girthy. Don't ever say that shit. Funny, <laughs> don't ever say thick. Why? Because, like, yo, bro, like, and you had your thighs out last week. I don't, like, we have to talk about I that shit. I have my thighs I, out most weeks, but, Yeah, you know, but I don't know. It, it looked like you kinda, were, like. It's kind of it's not cold anymore. It's kind of not hot like, you were out. sitting, you were sitting last week like you were Braun in Miami on South Beach with your thighs out looking, mm. like, for hey, no reason. Looking like a Brian thick snack. <laughs> that, was the first, that was the first time a gay man ever uh, uh, complimented me, by the way. Not, not last week, but like the first time a gay man ever said, a comp- he called me a thick snack. And I was like... Really? That you felt felt nice. You weren't like, you, you weren't uncomfortable about it, right? Not at all. Not at all. I was like... Bro, I was in, I was in Harlem two weeks ago and I was, I was outside of Niles' crib. Okay. And I was waiting for my Uber and I had the day drinker shirt on. Okay. Right, so it's like three, you know, three gay guys walking by, and like they clearly they're drunk and shit. So I'm just, you know, on the corner chilling, whatever. Uh, and he was like, "Day drinker, mm, I drink that." <laughs> <laughs> be honest, now, be honest, Bro. be honest, be honest. Bro. Bro. Super pause, yeah. super duper pause. 
The gay man compliment hit different, didn't it? Bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Be to you. honest, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Cheesed a little bit, like. <laughs> I felt a little handsome. It makes me feel like, like there's something about, yo, listen, shout out to all the gays, lesbians, bisexuals, Man. everybody, trans community. Definitely shout out to the bisexuals. We shout out to all of them. There's something about what a gay man compliments you. Yo, just it, like, boosts your, it boosts your mental immune. And you don't know it. You don't know it until, until it happens. Because you, you never think about it. No, yeah, that's not something you think about. Like, damn, I can't wait you know, to be like, like, a gay I got to make sure the homies yeah. you think I'm cute. Yeah, I mean, you got to make sure my niggas think I'm great. No, but when it happens. But when it happens, it catches you off guard. And you're just like, huh. Bro, like, <laughs> getting, yo, getting complimented by that gay man, by a gay man is like, Getting a check that you forgot was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. It's like, I forgot I had this. I wasn't looking I for wasn't this. I wasn't looking for this, but I'll take it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a weird it's complex. It's, that a, you weird it's a very weird complex. And you got to be real secure. Yo, you got to be, yo, you gotta be yo, so <laughs> secure. Because like certain, like certain men would be like, fuck out of here, man. Out of fuck, you, you, you think this is? You think I'm sweet? corny, by the way. Man, it's like, like, fuck, anybody bro. who reacts like that to a gay man. Yo, when gay men, like, when gay men I compliment you. a lot about you, yourself. Yeah, when gay men compliment you, bro, like, they just... They just looking at the, the, the mannequins in the store. Like, yo, that shit, that shit is fly. I, Listen, I fuck with that. Because gay, gay men will comp compliment shit that you don't notice about yourself. Bro! Right? Yeah. Like, women compliment you differently. But gay men, I mean, you know how a woman compliments you. Like, if, I, if, like, if Shorty compliment me, like, if Sid compliment me on some shit, I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, I knew that. Like, yeah, I, yeah, 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 I know yeah. my beard look good today. Like, I know. Like, of course. Yeah. But if a I gay know, man says... I know, I know says, my attributes. Yeah, like, I know, I, I know my variables. <laughs> but if a gay man says some shit, I'm like... Where, like, where'd, you, where'd you see that? I was like, damn, my skin do look like, bad. <laughs> my skin is clear <laughs> as fuck wow. today. So you know, I'm not that. I'm kind of thick. Like, I'm okay. like, I am working out a lot. I have a lot of Thank man. You. Thank you. you. All right. I do have nice cheekbones. Yeah, like, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like gay man's detail, the gay man's compliments are very detailed. Right? They pay attention like, to detail. They'll, yeah. they'll look at shit because they're very detailed. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah, they, 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 they I'm not going to generalize gay people at all, but like most gay men that I've ever met are very detail oriented. Mm -hmm. Like they take care of things that, you know, they wax things and do yeah. things with their bodies. That us that, men that normally probably mm -hmm. wouldn't do or yeah. pay, much, pay much attention to. Another thing I got complimented on, my eyelashes. Great eyelashes. I, I, see, I, get, well, I get commented, like, my eyelashes are mad long, so I always get, like, a lot of women be like, why your eyelashes so long? I'm like, well, you know, ask my mom. My mom has, like, <laughs> it's like, it's not me for, mm. I can't answer that shit. But I always notice that, like, a lot of women do compliment my eyelashes. Yeah. I never paid attention to I've that I've had women say, like, they would, they would kill for my eyelashes. They're like, yo, your eyelashes are so long. Like, like, you just, just wasted all the eyelashes. Yeah, you just wasted all my eyelashes. Like, do you want to drink or not? Like, you want me to buy you a drink? Like, <laughs> like just get to the point. Like, I get, I was creative, <laughs> eyelashes cool, but if you want to drink, just let me know. Like, I'll, I'll give it to you. It's fine. <laughs> Oh man, but shout out to the gays, bro. Shout out to the, <laughs> gays, to the gays, bro. Yeah, that compliment's hit different. Thank yeah. you for that. We need that. We, we, we appreciate that confidence. <laughs> God, how do we even get here? What are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> I, for, I forgot. The Rockets. Bro. Another team that I would be surprised. I don't think they're gonna win it, but I mean, you know, they definitely had a schedule. The Mavericks. I feel yeah, like the Mavericks. Yeah, I think Mavericks. Clippers first round. Mavericks, Mavericks Clippers. Oh, it's Mavericks Clippers? Yeah. Ooh, that's, you know, gonna be, that's a matchup. That's going to be a matchup. That's a matchup. Bro, My thing like, is, I, the, the games I've seen, I've seen, I think every Mavericks Clippers game has been on national TV. And I do notice the, like every time like they're, out, they're always on. Yeah. They, but but the Clippers on. have like routinely gave it to, you know, Luka every time they played. But they play, I think they played once in the bubble, right? Yeah, they played in the bubble. And the know. Mavericks won. Yeah. Oh, and gosh, yeah. Porzingis is playing very well, which hurts my heart. Pretty much all former Knicks are playing really well. well I was about right to say, where did he come from? Where did they? Where they where Latvia. They, no, no. Where did they trade him? Where did they trade him from? <laughs> uh, New York. From Secaucus, New Jersey, where they do all the trades in the NBA. But front what office. team was he on? I don't even think that's important. So what I was saying is a lot of teams. <laughs> I look at really good and you know, outside of Porzingis, Luke has been an all world player. Yeah. Um, I feel like if there's any team that matches up pretty well with the Clippers, I mean I think the Mavericks have an outside shot. I think they can out they could shoot them out, you know what I mean? If it's a shootout, they have a shot. But I mean the Clippers defense, man, they just 
The they go deep. like eight, nine people yeah, just so locked deep. down dudes, you know? They're so kind of like Montrose Harrell. Bro, like they, they, they shaved, like I'm telling you, man, the bubble has shaved the fat off of what we did not need to see because all mm. these first round lineups are looking phenomenal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's going to be like NCAA tournament playing at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. Or it should be at 9 o'clock at night and on the, the West Coast and <laughs> shit. By the time that somebody listens to this podcast right now, as a, as a bubble playoff game is going. <laughs> literally, literally a bubble playoff game is, is in the background as they're listening to us. Which is fantastic. It's it, like, man. you know, it's, it. it makes me, I feel like the bubble, the bubble games have been like the supplement that I needed for not having March Madness this year. Yeah. Like yeah, hoops yeah. all day. Yeah. Important hoops, games of consequence, mm-hmm. winner go home style games. The mm-hmm. playing game was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, I hope they keep that going forward and have that one game or you know, winning your end type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, man, so I say all that to say this: I feel like Dame Lillard definitely has the most to gain from winning a championship this year. And on top of that, I just don't think he's gonna do it. <laughs> I don't think he's going to do it. They built him up to the highest of the accord and says, you're not going to win. I don't think he's going to do it. I mean, and that's granted. I've spent the last like three episodes saying how big no, of, of a fan yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, of course. But of I course. mean, God yeah. damn, asking somebody to keep dropping 40, 50, 40. That's why I said to you, what is he going to average that's in that lot. first series? Like, that's, you have to at least do, like I said, you have to do at least 40, 42 for two or three games CJ to get them 35. Like CJ, CJ was hot. He put up 29 if he starts putting. He but then broke how, his then back. How, right. But then how Spinal. <laughs> Consistent does he do 25-29? He is. He's, when healthy, when healthy, he's he's good for 25. Mm-hmm. When he's healthy. But he broke his back. <laughs> Spinal. I'm rooting for the Blazers. Damn, like about to break his back carrying the team. Word. Yeah. I love I, mean, the, I love the Lakers, but I'm rooting for the Blazers. I would love I would love I, I want to see the Lakers. I want to see the Blazers do this. Man, I don't even I, I don't know who the, I don't know who I want to win. Like I want, I want, thing? Bron, I want Bron to get his. You know what I mean? As always, I want the Lakers <laughs> to take over. I want Melo to get his shine too, man. I think Melo deserves that moment. Too. I just want Blazers. I think yeah. the Blazers have like again. I keep going back to this point. The Blazers have so many stories riding into the playoffs. So, mm-hmm. outs- unless it was maybe Phoenix, mm-hmm. um, I don't see any other team that could rally my, you know, support behind them yeah. to take it all the way. And they're the eighth seed. Yeah, it's, so like, it's like you know, like you said, like that Kemba run. Like some people. Strike with an iron top, yeah, and then like once that snowball gets rolling, like it's harder to push to it. Stop it. Yeah, it's harder to be like ah, yeah, like so. In any sport, it's like the hottest team going into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it goes far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's the only difference. It's not like if it's if it's one and done. Like if it was a one and done playoff, like March Madness or NFL, I put all yeah. my money on the Blazers. I throw all my money against the Blazers. Exactly, yeah. but it's a playoff. It's the best out of seven, and you know, at beating. No, you don't. You don't. You don't get lucky in the NBA playoffs. Mm-hmm. You get lucky with injuries. The Warriors. I don't think I mean, that was injuries. Luck. That was luck. I mean, there's injuries the that they play. Won, they had like Mike Conley was out of that one. They had. The, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, injury wise. Yeah. yeah. What I'm saying is like, if a team is better than you and you're both yeah. healthy, you're not going to get lucky. Like the yeah. better team will win. Yep. Like you can't. You know what I mean? You can't have... But, and then, and even Braun said this, uh, you know, when Taylor had asked him a question, like, two weeks ago, he was he even said, he was like, we're not there. Like, we'll be playoff ready, but, like, we're not there. Yeah. Like, we're not there physically, and we're not there mentally. So, I don't know where the Blazers are, but because of this run that they're on, and because of momentum, that, that ego boost and mm. that fucking confidence boost will put you into a position like, all right, we can do this. But, you know, a rested, healthy team like the Lakers, yeah. they're coming up like, okay, we see the phenomenon around them. We see how great they're, they're becoming, but we also have our shit aligned. Yeah, so they I definitely have the that, advantage of... I don't know how that matchup and, looks. Yeah, they definitely have the advantage of getting to sit and watch the Blazers for the past couple of weeks. I don't think the Lakers have went full blast since maybe, like, they played the Clippers, you know what I mean, the bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even then, you know what I mean, they still haven't had their full team. But I don't know, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, it's going to be exciting, know, bro. I'm, Quick first take type uh, question for Lakers Blazers. Uh, are you oh, we got we got listener questions? No, no, first take type. Oh, first take type. Oh, yeah, sorry. like the talking heads. Um, <laughs> are you more impressed by Dame joining Wilt as the only players with 360-point games? Or LeBron joining Kareem as the only players with 17 plus 1500 point seasons. LeBron, 
Bro, Dame. 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 I mean, listen, Dame. let's keep it all the way around, bro. Braun has done so much shit and so many stats. It's like, all right, my nigga, fuck. We get it. You're, <laughs> a, you're great. You can put 90,000 points up in two days. Cool. We understand that. With go, Dame, James. Right, that's a go. We get it. I'm tired of that fucking narrative. We get mm. it, bro. You're the greatest. But what Dame is doing right now and what he did, you know, with the first stat you just said, that's like that's that's a new thing to to sit with. Sixty points three times. Wilt is like from the sixties too. Yeah, so yeah. Like, so like especially in his day and age, like that's that's something different to sit with. So I'm more impressed by the Dame stat. Well, it was a Wilt stat or Kareem? Wilt. Uh, Kareem, oh, Kareem. Kareem. Kareem was, was for LeBron. LeBron. Kareem, Kareem was for LeBron. For yeah, 17, really 15 point uh fifteen hundred point seasons. Wilt mm. is the only guy besides Dame to have three sixty point games in a season. Yeah, so that's, that's I'm, I'm, crazy. I'm I'm definitely more impressed by Braun, man. Like I feel like he gets a lot of flowers, and he, he, we probably still don't, nigga gets a bouquet every we day. Pro- <laughs> we probably still don't give him enough. Like honestly, nah, we've given Braun. Nah, we've given Braun a lot. Let's let's of keep flowers. it a rack, bro. When you're in the conversation with the Kareem's of the world, the Wilts of the world, the Jordans nah, of the world, bro, Braun has got like anybody could get a hot streak. Braun's had hot streaks. People we get it. That's, what, that's why we get a nigga his flowers. Braun's. Uh-huh. Flowers are like a birthday arrangement from when you cheat on your girlfriend. That's how what? much. That's how many. <laughs> no, like that's how big the flowers are that we've given him. Yeah, you we, speak from experience. <laughs> I don't cheat. <laughs> you know, black men don't, don't cheat. cheat. So <laughs> we, just, like, we don't cheat. No, I'm just saying that's how big the arrangement is. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to like. That's just like how much praise and how much you know thought we've gone into giving him and how how good he has been for how long that's what i was saying the arrange for dodger stadium to be opened up as a boating facility so see this is what i'm saying like he, he's his outside of, yeah his like, like, his, like let's just let's that's just, crazy you ran out the dodger stadium to do that that's crazy let's just be be glad we're yeah. living in the time where we yeah, can yeah, see yeah, this. Yeah, yeah of, course, of course. In real time. Yeah, don't, please don't just like, you know you, I'm mean? Brian, you still want to get your flowers yeah. continuously, but what Dame is doing, I got to, you know, send a little bouquet over to him it's gonna too. It's going to be a hell of a series, bro. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. It's going to be a hell of a series. So what we are? Uh oh. Uh oh. You ready to get it? You ready to take it there? Baby. Yo, Drake got another one. Oh, shit. Yo, listen. All right. All Let's right. do it. All right. Here we go. What are we going to do? Gonna get into it. All right, everybody. Talk to me. Y'all haven't seen. Obviously, you've been living under a rock, whatever. Mm-hmm. The boy is back. Mm-hmm. Drizzy Drake. Mm-hmm. Champagne Poppy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The leader of the owls, like you call them. <laughs> Uh, Apparently it's Aubrey's angels. Aubrey's angels. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Aubrey, Aubrey calls a grown man. Anyway, yeah. so, um, let's, let's not do that. So Drake, listen. I don't know why mm-hmm. I kind of didn't expect. I feel like it was kind of drilled into my head. Drake put out so much music this year, right? Whether on purpose or leaks, leaks yeah, or. Features. Remasters or features and all that type of stuff. I kind of lost track. I wasn't like hyped for the Drake drop on Friday like everybody was. Everyone was like, oh, owl season, Drake dropping, da da da. I'm just like, all right, we'll see. Well, all right, we'll see. This is what I told Ebro. I told Ebro the same shit. Hoot. I yeah. said, I'm not excited. I wasn't I'm excited, not excited either. Because it's not like how he would pull back, disappear, yeah. then maybe drop a little something. Yeah. But he, his he's presence has been, guy. yeah, his he's presence been has been all over the place. Mm-hmm. So, go ahead. So, I'll say all that to say, you know, surprise the fuck out of me. I love the record. I love it. All right, I want to hear, like, before I give my take. And I love it. Like, let's, 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 let, me get, let me hear this. It's been a minute. And granted, it's Drake records only slap the same when you're out partying in clubs. Which we cannot friends, do. Which we cannot do. All right. But the video thought was excellent. Shout out to the good folks at the swoosh. Even though I'm not wearing any swoosh gear, I still got bad love for you. Um, he's wearing swoosh gear, but you know, you know <laughs> it is what it is. Um, <laughs> took to Nike World Headquarters. You ever been there before? No, never been. Me and CGF were talking about that shit. He was like, there's only three people that have ever been in that lake. Drake is one of them. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Well, Drake <laughs> is dirt. And yeah. he was jet skiing and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, yo, uh, Nike World Headquarters, a.k.a. Grown Man Disney World, if anybody's ever mm-hmm. been there. I've been to Nike World Headquarters before. It is, oh, gosh, I remember, wow, now that I think about it, the first time I went there, I was there doing a Nike lacrosse program with Brandon Jinx ah. and Sean Evans. 
host of Hot Ones mm. when he was at Complex. And we went there and did some stuff uh, for Nike Lacrosse. And, you know, we got to, like, kick it on campus, take the tour, and go to the happiest place on earth. No, it's not Disney World. <laughs> the Nike Company Store, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. The one and only time I ever missed rent. As a grown <laughs> I saw man. you tweet that shit on the day too. I'm dead the fuck. Like, like I'm usually, I usually have a lot of cooth when it comes to things. Yeah, yeah. Like usually I'm pretty responsible or tend to be, whatever. The one and only time I lost my entire religion <laughs> was when the first time you get that pass because you gotta, you don't, you don't, you can't just walk in, right? right. Everybody who's seen the Nike company store can't just walk in. You get a pass. Somebody has to register you. They give you hours how long you can be there. And I think everything in there is like 60 to 70% yeah. off. Yes, yeah, so, Christian told me it's 60% off and it's like everything in there that's in there is new. Yes. And like unreleased or exclusive or whatever yes. the case is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you got to get there on the right days. If you don't get there on the right days, you just get, you know, what's, you know. What's left. Out there. Yeah. But if you get there on a good day, and I got there on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I got there on a good day, boy. I loaded up on foams. I loaded up on bronze. Damn. I loaded up on Nike Tech. Yeah. I loaded up on tees. I loaded up on socks. I loaded up on everything. What I didn't load up on that month was rent. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, wait, did you tell your landlord you went to Disney World? Or you just like, yo, bro, I got it this week. I just pushed it for another month. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't trip. Like, right. he tripped, obviously. Like, you know, no. I, just, I, def- I, definitely, I definitely ghosted him on Mad Text. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just like, why are the niggas in the mirror looking at the Nike fit? Like, look at the niggas not getting like, damn, <laughs> This bro. nigga's not getting the rich. <laughs> How dare he ask me for this shit? <laughs> The fuck? Oh, man. But no, like, you will lose your fucking mind if you go in there without a plan. Mm. Everybody that told me, like, I'm going there with a plan. Don't just have a limit for yourself. Like, you you probably think I'm bullshitting you by saying these type no, of things. No, I've heard stories about if you go into that store, everything is 60% if off. If you're not in there focused, you will lose your fucking mind. Nigga, I would lost my mind if it was 15%. <laughs> <laughs> fuck 60, bro. 15. Oh, my God. And then we would call my dad, like, yo... I need something. <laughs> I need something. So I get it. Totally get it. Totally yeah, get it. no, I totally. lost my religion. I lost totally my rent that month. Um, I paid about like three weeks later, so he was he was cool about it. Was you know, angry. I was I was still a working man, but I was like, nah, I'm blowing out a check. Cause like, nigga, you, it's, it's, it's so like, it's not many times where you can go to any kind of like headquarters that like you wear like Nike, Adidas, Puma, yeah. Reebok. So it's like. So yeah, and, it's, like, and it's all the way in fucking town. Portland. It's not like it's in Manhattan. Like, and they bro. ship a home for you too. So like you don't even I, the first time I'm thinking I'm like goddamn how am I gonna get all the shit take all this out, home yeah. and the cashier goes well you know we can ship this off for you I'm like bang <laughs> bro imagine yo, imagine imagine your landlord right three weeks late on rent uh, right and the nigga sees <laughs> the nigga sees the delivery now, that motherfucker would have came in and knocked, <laughs> knocked on the door, door I need fifty percent I need <laughs> I need half of that I need half of what you just bought <laughs> saw all the orange bags on the floor taped up nigga. I'm like is that what it looks like man. <laughs> what do you want me to do uh, so also you know black dot cry later yeah. um i like it i like it i feel like you know i feel like we got to stop expecting so much of drake no i feel like we do no i feel like we we expect we never look at we never look at jay like that yeah we do no we don't did, no, did no you, we don't we don't look did, at jay like you, that yeah. did you like the lion king album I said Jay, not Beyonce. All right, but he's on it. No, 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 no. When's the last time? No, 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 no. Okay. We are not doing this. We are not. We're talking about rap. Why not? Why not? You always want to, yo. You always want to do this with me, bro. Why not? You always want to do this with me. Don't do this with me today. I'm saying like this. I'm not. I'm not a hardcore Stan Beyonce fan. I'm not talking about Beyonce. Yes, you are. Talk about Jay Z. Okay, all right. Jay Z was a big part of that album. All right, how much? How many songs? Jay Z was, was a big part of the J Electronica album. How many songs was he on with Lions King? I mean, not Lions. The Carters, my fault. Oh, the Carters. Carter, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that shit was fine. That's why I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? This thing was on one song. My bad, guys. No, oh, the Carters. No, okay. I I I didn't expect much because it was it was. He didn't him. expect much. It was him and his wife. I right. didn't expect much. So my right. my my. But every couple of months, you hear a record you're like, damn, I like that record, don't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, you know, the Jay Electronica album, which I like a mm-hmm. lot. It was the last time I listened to it. 
Actually, this uh, Friday. I was nice. Yeah. Um, he did his job. Mm-hmm. Jay Electronica, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, um, I still think that the Laugh Now, Cry Later was saved by the video. Really? Oh, okay. I think it was saved by the video because if we don't have that video, the vibe, the, the aura is not there because mm-hmm. that video had so much. It had personality. It had, you know, the influencers. It had the Nike store. It had the Mercedes Benz. It had the jet skiing. That fucking car. What was that? Was that was two, a concept, yeah, I don't know. What the the fuck? concept Maybach, right? Yeah, I, think so, yeah. I think it was a concept Maybach. Oh. It has fucking, um, you know, Dirk is one of the, you know, great things about that record or that I video. think Dirk killed his feature. I know. Dirk killed his feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then it's the People memes. playing the Rets. Then it's <laughs> Kevin. Then it's Odell. Then it's Marshawn. Then it's him, Drake, running routes like you're drunk in the bathroom at, at night. Um, it's that. And then it's him crying. Like, there's so many elements to that video yeah. that doesn't allow you to connect to the song instantly. Not even the hooks, the... The baby. hook, like, well, we're not here. And then, and then all right, so, it's so, like, baby. so then you have that. Like, the baby... Baby. <laughs> the baby part of him looking very, like, creepish, but, like, women love that part. Yeah. Like looking at the camera, him in the pool doing Muhammad Ali, mm. him coming up out the pool, you know, his beard, he's sweating, he's wet, all this other bullshit. That's like, those are the things that will gravitate, that will take you away from the actual record. Mm. I feel like the record is not a long standing record. It's an introduction to what the album may be like or whatever the whatever whatever he's doing with the album. It's just getting ready for album, album time. Yeah. If the video is not there, the discussion with that song is not as high as it is right now. I mean, I feel like this. Drake, I feel like Drake puts out music like a scientist puts out like a project. That's right? a scientist move. That yeah. is a scientific move what he did like with that everything, song. Everything everything that was done in that video was done so purposefully. Yeah, exactly. You have to you have to sit back and be like Bro, like you like it's perfection. Oh, it's good. <laughs> you are like Drake, I know we Drake, you are a genius when it comes yeah. to these kind of things. I'm just glad he wasn't the Rumpun Ting Ting of oh, the song. I'm, well, I'm sure we're going to hear some of that I'm shit. I'm sure we will, yeah, but I'm I was sure like, yo, the shit. only thing, I think that's probably why I like it so much. I was like, yo, I don't want to hear my hot dum ting tong ting. ting but Drake. he did all that. He, did, he got that out the way prior yeah, to all of this. And that's, and that's fire. Like, mm. he covered his UK bass. He covered the drill bass. He covered what he had to do. And now he's going back into his pocket. Like the hotline bling type thing, or yeah, whatever the case like, is. It felt like headlines to me. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's those records that catch your attention. Headline or headlines mm-hmm. done in the fucking Toronto stadium. Yeah, he knows how to get the conversation started. And when those other records that we expect come, we'll be ready for those. But this is more so for the ladies. This is more so for conversation. This is for social media. And he calculated like ten for ten. Did it hundred percent. Had Kevin Durant. Had everybody in there that we love. All and, the cameos were perfect. Like, yeah, it was cool there was to nothing. See. And he had Dave Myers directed. Legendary video director. So everything on the checklist was done perfectly by Drake. Strip everything off of that, and we evaluate the record. It's not a great record. I think it's a good record. I like the record. It's not a great record. I like I could, it. It's cool. Mm. If we was out, if we was at fucking Last Lap or whatever the case was. But that's what Drake makes music for. I get Drake it. Makes all right, music so, for us right, to be out. So does that? All right. So does that mean I can't criticize it? Does that mean I have to like just what? Well, okay. Well, you know, if he makes music for when we're out, so but you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna I, do the same thing we do with every Drake record. It comes out like, oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's cool. Three weeks later, you're like, mm, okay, all right, I'm starting to dig this. Four weeks later, you hear it in the radio, like, damn, I know all the worst of this, and I've never played it once on purpose. And then he goes to a party, like, I live in the relax. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is, there's another record that I heard that I got in trouble for. Mm. That's a record. Is that the one? Nah. Uh, okay. But that's a record. I'll say Why can't we talk about it? It's a podcast. I wouldn't wait. I could. I like, talk about I saw, the feature? Was so, it, is it featured? Um, no, no features. No features. It's oh, just him. It's just I thought you talking about the record with um, uh, uh, screw no bars. No, that was that was that was some shit. That was some shit. That was a rumor on the internet. That, well, that wasn't a real rumor. Oh, okay. The rumor that I read was supposed. It was supposed to be Bruno Mars was supposed to be on the first single. Mm-hmm. But then laugh now, cry later comes out. Little Dirk, so and then the, they said the album was supposed to be called Skeleton King. Yeah, and now obviously the album is Certified Lover Boy. So gotcha. that, that that's why I didn't want to speak. What you on think it. about the title? Certified Lover Boy. He got a little heart pack, bro. Like heart. I just I get it. <laughs> I yo I get it. Yo I swear yeah. I get it. Like 
But it's like, fam, mm. like, come on. Like, if you're making a collab R&B album with whomever or like, or if it's an R&B album, that is the perfect title. Okay. But my nigga, knock it off. Why? I just, why do we, why you know do what? we I'm not going, you know what, you, you know, you're right, because I know where you're going with this. I'm why not do we do keep it. expecting Drake to now, give okay, us you're right. he's, he's five mic, nah, you're lyrical, right. miracle, miracle, spiritual, Drake is, saying, 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 that's not him. I know, like, we've I been know, expecting, I know, we've been expecting I know, that, I, because I we know, know, we know he's capable. I know. We listen to all the timestamp records, yeah. we listen to all the fucking diss records, yeah. like when Drake wants to rap, not many people can touch him. Granted, say what you want to say about, you know, allegations and ghost writers and yada 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 we're gonna get into that as well with uh saha the prince and mm, that mm-hmm. type of stuff um okay. say what you want about ghost writers and, and and whatnot when drake wants to spit he wants to spit but i feel like there's a a, a legion of fans who are his diehards edin are you one of those guys are you uh, no, i fucking love drake okay i was gonna ask what do you guys expect to be on the album who do i expect to be on the album i just, mean just from hearing the title popcorn yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like I feel like he's gonna pull some. There's always that rabbit out of his hat. There's gonna be saying? a surprise on that album. Maybe today. like I'm thinking like a shot day. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if Snow I'm was thinking, on it. Snow Legro was on Snow it. Snow Legro. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm um, thinking. You know what I mean? He'll probably get a verse from Hov. I wanna. You know how I wanna hear? I don't think. think well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Hov will put himself. I don't think Hov will put himself on an album called Certified Lover Boy. Yeah. You know who I wanna hear though? Well, I want another Drake and Rihanna record. Mm. I want another Drake and Rihanna record. Yeah, I don't. I, I would. That is a, that was an unbeatable combo. For I a would. Long I time. would. But that nigga's been mad creepy in her fucking ID <laughs> lives. And I don't think she want any part of them, Barbet. But I mean, hey, maybe that's maybe maybe that's part of the plan. Maybe it's part of the plan. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Snow on there. I wouldn't mind. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't mind Hove on there. Mm. Um, I want to see Ross. I want a Ross verse. Ross verse. Uh, mm-hmm. Being that Dirk was on the first single, yeah, I think he's gonna cater to the youngins. I think that that was that was a very very that was a chess move. I like. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. We I get, like what he did with that. I'm thinking we get a Roddy Rich in there. I'm thinking we get. There was a record. I heard uh, the Clue played it on the radio the other day. Yeah, there was a the record Drake with him and Roddy Rich. Rich. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. If, was it actually out or was it? Oh, he played it on on Power. Oh, okay. So I was like, okay, I don't know if it's a leak or not, but he definitely played it. Um, I'm thinking Roddy Rich. I'm thinking like I'm you thinking know, Thug Gunna, and Future. You know what I mean? I'm thinking definitely Thug and Future. You know who I like to hear on the record? Who? Bobby and Rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> when did they get out? They was supposed to be out this year, end of this year, no? I think like it's very soon. I think they have they have to go to retrial or they have to go to trial for the the release setting or something like that. I don't know. If like, Bobby something. and Rowdy are coming out doing some drill shit, like first record out. Gotta get the boy on it. Yeah, too. Gotta get the boy on it, bro. Like, and even Thug, can... Thug was like, when they come out, I got something for them. Oh, he yeah. was talking about like just the loyalty and like not they telling them. Down. Yeah, held it down. Held him down. Didn't snitch, did it the right way. Yeah, I, you know I, want... I mean, not, I'm not advocating for, for crimes or anything like that. But you but do the crime, you do your time. This That's is it. America. You That's do it. the crime, we do you the do time. You, exactly. And they did. <laughs> pay your debt to society. And then when you get back into the real world, handle your business. Handle your business. But no, yeah, I would, I would like to see. All right, so we we'll list off like this. I would like to mm-hmm. see Roddy, mm-hmm. Thug, Future, Snow, Rihanna, um, Drake and Wale would be fucking dope. But you know, I'd I would, love to hear that. I would love to hear Drake. I'd love Wale. to hear that. Um, and then, I like to hear the Lover Boy off. Have a Lover off, bro. Like you know, they're, they're just, <laughs> those guys are sappy as fuck. Like so that, Drake and Wale making a record together, sappy as shit yeah. with Rihanna on the hook. That shit would be fire mm. as fuck. Um, but yeah, I, I you know, certified Lover Boy. We know what he does. We we understand his his angle. Drake is like that 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 you know prim and proper varsity jacket wearing kid in high school that you always fucking hated but you always <laughs> tried to figure out his fucking formula like how do you do, how this? do this how do you figure out a way to, to, to yeah. get the fucking you know prom queen and well, it's, just it's, just it's just us niggas hating it's just us niggas that's all it is it's just us niggas hating bro like how do you do it you got the heart in your fucking haircut your beard is crazy you got you know chipotle tattoos all over your body <laughs> um you know the muscles is crazy so now niggas is just fucking hate and you made some of the greatest music in the world the it's greatest just, music just, in the world nigga it's just hate we love your music it's just hate i like bro. i like i would like laugh not cry later i even liked i like pop star I like Popstar. I like Popstar. No, I'll say that. A lot of people that. wasn't fucking with Popstar. No, I'm like, I like Popstar. 
It took me a minute too, cause like I was I was catching the hook. I was like, okay, this sounds kind of different. But like the more I listen to it, I'm like, nah, nah, I fuck with this record. Pop star is hard. Grease, I'm not, I'm yeah, I'm grease. I'm kind of wean myself off of, mm. but pop star, pop star is fucking yeah, tough. Definitely. I get that. So yeah, you know, Drake season is it's here. Drake season, bro. It's it's about to be the fall. Weather's about to. He gonna take about... advantage of us not going outside, and then you're gonna have us in our fucking feelings. All right, so boom. So why why not have Certified Lover Boy as the album? No, I get it. I just said I'm the fucking geek in high school hating on the fucking varsity jacket wearing senior. You like, cause Drake, I can't do it. You think Drake is gonna give us? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's literally it. Like, any nigga that hates on Drake online or ever, you were the geek in high school, and this nigga is the varsity jacket wearing, fucking waved out, whatever, you know, nigga that you, that was the senior in high school that you looked at, that you <laughs> fucking hated. That's who Drake is right now for us. So, Music is phenomenal. I just hate how this nigga just <laughs> pulls does it every in time. every time. He does so it every that's time. That's it. I'm being a man and admitting it. I hate the fucking fact you figured out how to do it. I and feel I like figured I, it out yet. I feel like what makes this really interesting right now <laughs> is that like he's about ten years in. He's over ten years yeah. in, now, eleven years in, right? And Drake's at the point where people are starting to question his longevity or kind of question like, all right, like you starting to. Either fall off a little bit or kind he's, of like I think he's having beef. fun. I think he's having fun with it. But us. now, you know what I mean? When it's album time, like we see he could push that button. Oh, whenever he wants. To be the center of attention again. Drake, and, yeah, Drake does not never know how not to be the center of attention. Yeah. Drake can instantly say, I'm doing this. I need the attention. Yeah. And we give him the attention. And he did this with that video. This Every nigga single went to, scene in that video is frame worthy. If Every. It's, if it's not the concept Maybach, it's it, the Nike store. If it's not Kevin Durant, it's Marshawn Lynch. If it's not Odell Beckham, it's uh, Drewski. If it's not the, the company store, it's the chick with the tattoos. Aggie, yeah. It's, Shout if, to Aggie. If it's not the chick with the tattoos, it's Underwater doing Ali. If it's mm -hmm. not doing Underwater Ali, it's him turning around saying baby so the TikTok people can get this shit mm -hmm. on. Like, everything is done on purpose. It's so calculated. We have, we have now understood how the you know the mastermind of his brand not just him how his brand works because mm -hmm. he's captivated you know the the wave of social media he understands the conversation because the first thing i said when that record hit i'm like this video is phenomenal mm -hmm. i didn't say nothing about the record mm -hmm. i'm like this video is fucking insane and he knew it's like because the record is not even that big of a record to be like yo this is it Nigga, it was the video that was going to cause the conversation. Mm. And we're, we've spent more time talking about the video than the actual song. But you ever notice, though, like, Drake lead singles always do that. Drake lead singles always give you, like, it's always just a sample. It's always like, if you, go, if you come away from this Drake single just knowing the hook, you're straight. Like, He's he, never goes, he, never, he never goes for, like... He never drops like a 5 a.m. in Toronto type record for a single yeah. as a lead single. He never drops a full blown like I'm in to find your like as a, <laughs> as a record. It's always a nice mix of both, and then like a hook that everybody just fucking knows by the by the time like it starts running its course. Right, and then that kind of hooks you in and leads you into like the next record and the next record and right. the next record. Right. And then the album drops. And then now you're already hooked in. It goes now. quadruple platinum like every yeah. fucking time, and he's the, he's one of the one of the best ever. Anybody who doesn't Can't, agree, you know, anybody who's who's still at the point where we're still arguing Drake's all time status just because of Ghostwriter claims or he sings too much or he was a child star of all this bullshit that people kind of throw at Drake. You know what I mean? As long as he's been doing this shit, like. He's on a run that not many people get. I'm not even talking about rappers. He's on a run that musicians just don't have. Right. No, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, and no, I, you know, I, I can't argue against the stats. I can't argue against the longevity. I can't argue against the uh, the culture influence. Just him, you know, specifically. I, you can't. There's a lot of things you can't argue. Would you like to see different things from him? Yes. Would you like for him to switch up certain things? Yes. But if it's not broke, you don't fix it. And, you know, I'm not an artist. I don't understand what goes into doing all of this and having this type of success. So I can't really say too much. But, you know, just as a you know connoisseur of music, there are things that I tweak this, tweak that. But who am I? Just a fucking nigga in a fucking barbershop talking <laughs> shit. Who the fuck am I? Who the yeah. fuck is he? Who the fuck am I? Did you see uh, Psy Had the Prince? Bro, uh, Saha, my yeah. God, love mm -hmm. Saha the Prince. 
Man, that's a guy. Uh, gosh, we could do more rapper tales. <laughs> Saha the Prince, incredibly talented songwriter, a guy who I've interviewed many times yeah. over my career. And, you know, he was the butt of a lot of jokes for a long time. Yeah, he has been. He has been. But his pen game is stupid. His pen game was always stupid. Always, yeah, always stupid. And he was always around. So anybody who could use the context clues about good music or anybody you know like, who's putting in the work. He's probably putting in a lot of work. Like anybody who you see just kind of like hanging around the crew, the consequences or or the Talibs or, or Ron Fest or Saha or all these other people like GLC. GLC, like there's always like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's wrote some shit. Mm. And now this week, this weekend, uh, more specifically, a lot of uh Astro World um leaks leaks and, and reference tracks leaked. People are and pe- and people are looking in the Vlad TV interviews and all this type of stuff, yeah. and discovering like, oh shit, Saha the Prince wrote. Isn't his Sa- name? But isn't Sa- his, Young? Isn't his mm. name in the fucking credits? Yeah, he's credited. But it's not credited as Saha the Prince. It's his government name. What's his government? As, as it should Sa- be. Sidel Young. Sidel Young. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as it should be. Is. Like, nigga, mm-hmm. when I mean, when Hov's credited with shit, it says Sean Carter, and yes. when it's Arby's credited with shit, it says Arby Graham. Yeah. Like, so what do we? Yep. I think that's just why it's a story because people just didn't know. Yeah, it just it, know. it goes to show just how much people don't realize sicko mode though. how songs are created. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's literally like that's literally Hip-hop like the started. norm. It's like hip hop started being like Curtis's records were ghost were not ghost written just I don't, yeah, like, by other mm, people. Like mm. it's a, I yeah, guess it's the like, beginning. That's, like, that's, that, that, that was kind of how it was. I feel like hip hop has been the only genre of music where writing your own mu- writing your own lyrics is like stand. Like you have to or else like, you know. But because it's battle tested because this is a battle like not battle industry but like this is a competitive type of thing. So when you look at pop stars or you look at rock stars like they're not, it's not leaned on as like, yo, if you didn't write that shit, mm-hmm. you know, you're not credible. It's mm-hmm. like, no, we're writing the best song to get on the radio yeah. and you get a fucking hit. When you write rap songs, we're like, we're looking at credibility. We're looking at like your stories because hip hop is a story being told from your community, from your experience. So when someone says, oh, you didn't write that, then that leans into, oh, you don't, you didn't live that. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking at Axl Rose. I'm not looking <laughs> at fucking Queen. Or I'm not looking at fucking ACDC like, you didn't live that lifestyle. Nigga, it sounds good? Cool. We're yeah. great. Nigga, if Run DMC or... Because you know, hip-hop is... is, 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 is it's, it's a tale. It's tied into so much real life yeah. and like your lifestyle and like, are you an authenticity? Right? Are you that? So, so much of hip hop that first popped off was about like how this person's living. It's like, mm-hmm. oh man, gangster rappers. Wow, West Coast is crazy. Wow, this is that. Then, like, East Coast, like, oh shit, public enemy, fight the power. Okay, mm-hmm. oh shit, wow, this guy's really about that life. And when it was very lyric based, it was very, you know what I mean? Like, you had to, you know what I mean? Like, when, when, the Mob, competitive you look at Mob Deep, Wu Tang. You mm. look at all these like these outcasts. You look at all these artists who are from the slums who are telling these fucking authentic, genuine stories. Yeah. And then you find out. Not to say none of these guys have never written a shit, but if you find out, like, yo, these niggas ain't really from Shaolin, or they didn't live in the Shaolin, or these niggas ain't really live in ATL, or these niggas ain't really live in the BX or, or Queensbridge, or yeah, you know I mean, like that's not what they was about. So it's like that's polarizing to the people that we we fell in love with. Mm. So like when I look at you know a Travis Scott and a record like Sicko Mode, it's like one I don't look to Travis for lyricism. Mm. Not to say he's not capable of it, but I'm I'm not. I didn't get up in arms when I found out Saha was writing all this shit. Like, all right, cool, nigga. Saha wrote a lot of shit for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Like, so do you care about I ghost writers? I, I mean, depends. Depends on who it is. Mm. Depends on who it is. But at the end of the day, our ears are different. And our judgments are, are are skewed. But we're we're looking at the stories that are coming out now aren't necessarily as thick and authentic as they were yeah. when we were coming up in high school and grade school. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And not to say that everyone has a ghostwriter, and if you do have a ghostwriter, it's okay, but I just don't lean on it as much as I did back then. If I heard Jay had some shit written for, you know, by someone else, then I'd be like, damn, like, hold, yeah. like, you was telling us everything from boom, 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 I boom, I think boom. stories that are personal, you have to write them. Yeah, you Like, you have to yeah, write them. Yeah. Like, if I found out, like, all that I got is you, was ghost written by Ghostface? <laughs> like, like that's such a that's such a vivid song and video and record 
Like you hear him fucking literally to the detail. I'm talking about his mom mm -hmm. wiping the, the boogers off this with his spit and like fucking two, you know, four to a bit, two at the foot, two at the head. Bro, I don't like to sleep with John nigga. John. He peed the bet. Like these are super introspective, like you live this lyrics. So like if I come to find out you're talking about this and I don't even know John John that peed the bed and you're gonna write that, right. I'm gonna feel a type of way. I think it kind of lends itself to the fact that we've kind of grown, music has grown so much that people aren't necessarily living that life and, or, or it's talking about like stuff that's super personal to them anymore that they just want hit records. They just want those pop Bro, songs. and that's fine. Like, yeah. I have no problem. Like, get your money, get your recognition, get your, your, your chart position, like, do all that shit. Like, mm. as long as you don't put yourself out there as, yo, I'm one of the best lyricists. I my pen game is this and a third. I can I can match up with anybody. And Travis has never done that. Right. And I never looked at Travis to do that. I didn't realize people thought Travis was. That's what I'm right. like. Y'all now y'all really like yeah. y'all as many projects as this nigga's put out. Travis Scott literally every Travis Scott record is literally like a DJ Khaled record where there's mad nigga, people. Like, like, and y'all are really that's... mad about this? Like if if if, if, if the story was meek. And gone bad was yeah. those, then I'd be like, fuck, like yeah. nigga, really? Like you? Yeah. Or if it was like 1942, like the shit that he like, if someone wrote that, then I'm like, okay, like nigga, that's fucked up. Or if someone said, yo, someone ghost written, uh, someone ghost wrote uh, where I'm from by Jay-Z, mm -hmm. then I'd be like, my heart would be broken. Yeah. But yeah. sickle mode by Travis Scott and Drake, mm -hmm. like, bro, like, we're gonna live to die another day. We'll be fine. Like, it's <laughs> it's okay. It's like, like my heart like, broke when I found out that <laughs> did this here with all my chasing in the like, booth. Like, y'all are upset about that. <laughs> it's like that spoke to me, yo. All told Travis was speaking my life like, about nigga, rapping yeah. with all his chains on in the booth. God damn it. Like, and there and there's so many artists in this game, new and old, who still write their shit that a lot of people don't pay attention to because it's not a number one hit. Mm -hmm. It's not about lean. It's not about this. It's not about that. Open your ears up. Open your title, your Apple Music, your Spotify, and go find these lyricists because they are there. They're so, there. So stop there. with the. And you know, that's not all, that's not to say like not a lot of top rappers don't write this stuff too. No, like, I'm not Wa saying they don't. But, I know for know. a fact Wale writes everything mm -hmm. like meticulously. And I'm J. Like, Cole, Cole writes right. everything. Still chart toppers. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick, like, Kendrick writes everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so they're there. They're mm -hmm. there. This guy's just like ease up. Like ghostwriting it. You know, a lot of your favorites have had help and assistance and like it is what it is like this to make a hit that's the name of the game celebrate our ghost writers hmm? Hmm? celebrate our ghost Yo, shout out to the ghost riders shout out to the ghost riders shout bro. out to the songwriter shout the out to Quentin the credit. Yeah. shout out to Saha shout out to everybody. shout out to Consequence Romfest shout out to all GLC. those guys yes shout Nani. out to all those guys a lot of, a lot of, a lot of talented, talented songwriters. Appreciate and you know the what? talent when it stream comes to stream their music too. Don't yes, just fucking... yeah, y'all niggas is now y'all up and on. Giant stream saw our last album, mm -hmm. did you? So now that you got his names in his mouth, go on Apple Music and get his last project. Uh, it was it dope on Sunday? Yes, please. Great fucking project too. Kanye's on it. Right. Mad Star Studded. Right. All the people so, that he writes for is on that album. Yeah, so, so go check it out. You want to make a big deal out of it? Go hit his stream numbers up. Go get how, him, put some money in his pocket. I love pulling the card of music fans. I love That's pulling. Like, you know, niggas. Love to have a conversation. I love pulling that car because a lot of them don't re aren't really music fans. They're this is fans what we're going back to the whole back to the not Jay, 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 conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of fans of music that say they're fans of music aren't real fans of music. They're fans they're of fans what of, my friends like. <laughs> they're fans of the conversation. Of yes, music. that's what. Yeah, they're, they're, like, fans, they're fans of this. Yes, of personalities and personalities. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, which yeah. is fine. Just totally fine, you know what I mean? Like, knock it, party to whatever record you feel like partying to. Like, you don't have to be a, we're, we're music nerds. You've been at yeah. this for over a decade now. Yeah, so yeah. like, this is, what we do. this is the type of shit that interests us. Yeah. But most people aren't like us. The average dude listens to whatever's on the radio. It's like, oh, I like this, okay. Or listens to whatever's on the playlist. Oh, whatever's cool. on the playlist. All right, I'll add this, I'll add that. Exactly. We do this, this thing is work for, for the source. I've worked for BT. I have my own website for 10 plus years. I got my own radio show, so this is like this is like the things that we do. This is like these are the conversations we have with our ladies. Damn, I wasn't just at the source, bro. It was just 
Hip hop wire. I mean, stash okay, right all right. Source, yeah. hip hop wire, yeah. translation. Yeah. I don't know. Um, stash. You stash. Know, created that. created yeah. your own shit. My mm-hmm. fault, bro. Yeah, damn. We always. gotta give our flowers. You right, you know, if we just giving Bron you, and Damon flowers. That, all right, here's your bouquet. You. Yeah. Thank sorry, you. I'm sorry, I needed bro. that, bro. I was like, like, shit. You know, like, I know, I know. I thought the source almost 10 years ago. I'm like, shit. Yo, okay, my bad, my bad. I forget sometimes. You know, it's the wrong. It's the wrong. Fucking source, man. I wish they would archive this shit. Fucking source. I wish they would. Like, yo, that's the one thing I hate about that shit. It's like, we live in the such an internet generation that like a lot of shit doesn't translate but now we're getting to the point where like all these magazines that were made are going to be worth a lot of money because yeah. nobody's making them anymore so you know go get you some magazines from 2008 to 2011 2008 to 2011 2012 and you know golden nuggets right there golden nuggets bro lots golden of cover nuggets. stories lots of lots of bombs rick ross big sean wale to chase mac miller there it kendrick is. run the Drake. resume run the I mean, resume come on son wiz khalif i talked to everybody Jay run the Cole. resume Come on, B. Run the resume. The pen is still hot. There it is. The Run pen's it. still hot. Run that resume. And then for the right price, I can make your shit yeah, tight. <laughs> God damn it. Jake, what we got, man? I want to eat some chicken again. Come on, yeah, we're, we're getting close to quick hitters. Okay, um, let's get to it. So we got, you can tell me yes, no, on hitting these topics kind of as we go through. Stop right, me. Let's get it. Yeah. So we got Naj Doja Cat. We got Stipe Miocic. Nas Doja Cat. No, I don't want to do that. Mm. I don't yeah, mean, we yeah, skip, I don't we that. He's a racist child. I'm so no, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm cool. I don't right, make that. I got a question. I got a question. We a barbershop show with feet. I got a question. I don't need that show. Stop, bro. Yo, somebody, you know what's crazy? Someone's paying top dollar for this. I know. That's, a, that's disgusting, too. I think I heard there's a registry of like every girl put on Instagram or something. Yeah. Like there's I, some, there's some websites. I'm not a foot guy. I'm never a foot guy. I always thought feet were. I don't hate feet, but that's never been like my thing how that's somebody's thing. All right? So yo, I'm not kink. I don't. Yeah, I'm I, hate, yuck I hate when she like put. I, I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna oh kick shame geez, nobody. Man. I'm not gonna yuck your yum if you like feet. That's <laughs> yuck great. your yum. Yeah, shout out to Ray VB. I still have a raven. Yuck your yum. Yuck your yum. Like feet your thing. I like that. Go for it. But uh, yeah, Doja Cat and racist chat room showing feet. But shout out to Hip Boy and Nas. Great record. Yeah. Um, Ultra black. Ultra black. You know what I mean, new. Uh, not that's not single. The, the, what's the album? Uh, King is or Diseases King? Was it Diseases King? I don't know. I, was, I I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean no. Nas's album. No, the new no. Nas and the Hip Boy album. It's like it's coming out August 21st. Uh, it's well, like I, I, I saw King. So by, by the time you pull it up, we'll 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 get to it. But uh, Ultra Black. That's a single. Do you Black. think so? So apparently, so I guess Doja Cat called a stray. Women? King's disease. King's, King's, King's disease. disease. King's disease. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, it's King that. something. I'm black something. Disease is King. That's like, what disease. disease. <laughs> no, but I wasn't bugging my but disease was in the title. I knew I wasn't fucking Mix bugging. Mix it up, Beyonce. Shit. I mean, yeah. That's a 2020 ass title, though. Disease is King. King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Imagine coronavirus is dropping that album. Bro, bro. <laughs> disease you know, is the King. government rollout takes another level. Bro, the first thing I thought she was. <laughs> The first single from the Corona album, <laughs> don't you worry. You know what will be the second single? <laughs> what? Mask Off. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh ah. Uh, Perkins it. No. Fuji's had the masks. Oh, you know the song. third single? What? Karen. Uh, what? <laughs> no? There's a lot I'm, of Karen's like, bugging out. Oh. Featuring Karen? No. No, featuring Karen. <laughs> featuring oh. Karen? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I, I hate Sundays, bro. Nah, no, <laughs> Doja Cat caught a stray from Nas. Doja Cat, yeah, Doja Cat caught a stray from Nas. Uh, we're ultra black, yeah. opposite of Doja Cat. Uh, yeah. Then she posted a video on her IG uh, playing the verse. Mm-hmm. And then she said, don't y'all hate... Isn't this song horrible? She named some completely other song. So it was like an <laughs> undermining troll, like uh, as Nas is saying the lyric about her. So like yeah. we see what you're doing, Doja, but she deleted it later. I don't on. play, I don't listen. Nas. Don't play Instagram games with people born from the internet. Yeah, you, know? you might want to just ease just up on that. Yeah. Like I don't That's not your, nothing, that's not our world, Nas. There is nothing sadder than watching a OG get owned on the internet by somebody 20 years their senior their 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 youth right like some people don't 
They know how to. They know how to maneuver that. They space. know better, bro. They know those triggers. They know those buttons. They know those fucking landmines. Like, I get what you were saying, yeah. and I agree with what you're just saying. But that's a tree you do not want to bark up yeah, because they, they have nothing but not right time. Now. You get nothing to gain from that. They nice. have nothing but time. And you got an album coming out in about a week and a half. And they will ruin the fuck out of that shit. You remember and when Soldier Boy like roasted Ice-T for like a month Bro, straight. they have nothing but time. Don't do that. that. And you I don't want know. this nigga interviews when he's on Zoom with Breakfast Club or with Zoom with Hot 97. To them just asking him about Doja Cat or she says something or he might respond one night. Like, bro, just like, just leave that alone. That, that, that's not the game you want to play. Like, leave trust that me. alone. Yeah. That's why I ain't want to talk about this Don't shit. Don't bark up that tree. That tree will fall on. Mm-hmm. I want to hear. I want to hear the bars. I want to hear the bars. I want to hear the music. Or a beautiful hit boy beat. Yes. That's I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear about no controversies. I don't want to hear about shit, Nas. You got a goddamn, probably at worst, one of the best producers of this decade crafting your whole album for the first time. Let's focus Everybody on Everybody who's ever been a Nas fan has always said, man, I wish we can get Nas on some dope instrumentation, some dope beats. You got somebody who does nothing but dope beats. You are 1,000% without a doubt one of the greatest rappers to ever do it. I don't want to come back here talking about any Nas tomfoolery unless it has to do with bars. I don't want to see you going back and forth with no Instagram celebrities. Granted, Doja Cat is a musician. She's popping. She's had some big songs. But she works the internet game better than you. Don't fall for the trap. Doja. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Nigga, Doja all she Cat did. in the bubble. All she Doja. did, bro, all she did. Take the heat off. Was, yo, she lifted that fucking, uh, that, that bear trap mm. and put that honey right there. Yeah. Bro, and as soon as you take it, she going to chop that hand off. For Please. Sure. For sure. Do not take the bear. Like, you know what? And she's. She is what she is. Whatever. Let, nah. let it go, bro. Next one. Next one. I, I, don't want, I don't want her trying to cancel our shit. So next one, please. Man, listen. I'm, 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 I'm trying to look out. I'm like, listen. The bygones be bygones, bro. Man. She's had a rough year. You're nah, about to have a good one. one. Yeah, let it, let it go. Let it We're, go. We like the music, bro. We yeah. don't want to hear about the music. Just the music, kid. What's She's up? showing feet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it. But I do have a little tidbit for Lo. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Not just for Lo, for Kaz and Lo, but oh, okay. specifically to follow up. Okay. Uh, so LeBron, in game six, or sorry, game two of the 2018 finals, put up 43, 14, and eight. Oof. Mm. In game one of the 2013 opening round playoffs versus the Bucks, he put up 27, 10, and eight on, on 81% field goal shooting. Oof. Mm. What is the common thing between these two games? I think that's more. You can. I don't know. What's the common. The, 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 so he. Oh, game, the, give me the stat line one more time. Fourteen. Oh, were they away games? I don't. Oh, know. I think I think I know where you're going with this. Rihanna was there. Rihanna uh, was there. That's where you're going with that. Rihanna was there. I'm like, I'm because I'm thinking, I'm like, what? How is this not? And I forgot what we were talking about last week. Rihanna was there. That's what so it was. So did you do the, the, he did the, the research? He did the research. He did the research. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't able to find every game she's ever been okay. at, but I found a few. And he looked. 43, yeah. 14, and 8? Against the Raptors. Mm, yeah, LeBron, so that's good. Yeah, he, he And then the Bucks was what? He, uh, he put out. up 27, 10, and 8, but on uh, 82% field goals. So, so one was 81, and the no. other was 82. Mm-hmm. What's up? One game was 81%? Sorry, no, I mean, but, no, one of the games, I don't know the field goal oh, okay, percentage, okay, okay, but okay, like okay. 81, 82, something around there. Damn. The age old question, can you ball in front of Rihanna? Clearly, <laughs> clearly. He can also clearly hoop in front of Hove. Yes, we've seen it. We've Rihanna, seen it. Hove, what and Beyonce. Do you have Hove stats also? We got Hove stats. What's the Hove What's stats? Hove stats? So LeBron is 9 and 10. I mean, sorry, 9 and 1 in his last 10 games that Rihanna and Hove have been at. Really? Wow. Oh, that's the shit you don't get on Sports Center, baby. Wow. <laughs> Including. Including his uh, game six against Golden State, where he put up forty-one. Oh, that was six, that was the uh, against the Warriors in was, Golden State. That was the one that they won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was the block. Okay. That was the game no, no. Out. That was the game before where him and Kyrie went nuts. I think Kyrie oh, got okay, forty okay, also. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kyrie okay. got forty-one. Stupid. Game like five. you ever see that meme of like yo, me and you know, anytime like 
like yo, like Drake and Thug on such and such record. They have That's like, like, the LeBron, it's like LeBron, LeBron and Kyrie going, yeah, 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 like they always have like the stat from that game because yeah. they both went nuts that yeah. game. So okay, okay, I okay. Think that was game five or six. Yeah, I think it was game Ge- six. I thought it was game five. They both put up forty-one, and then LeBron did it back to back in game six. I believe, right. if not mistaken, because they both needed that huge effort. Yeah, because they were down three-one. So that yeah. game five, he balled out, and then game six, he went nuts too. Yeah, and but then Jay-Z you know we all know what happened Beyonce in game seven. Yeah, for both there. They also had the forty-nine point game in. Uh, so so LeBron is nine and one with in, in, with, in, with 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 Jay and Rihanna in attendance. No, no, Jay and Beyonce. Oh, Jay and Beyonce in attendance. Mm. In the last ten, I think he said more before that. So, all right, so, it's so here's like what I, here's what I want you to do for the next for the next episode. <laughs> Bro, I, I got enough homework. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, if yeah. you can, find out the stats of LeBron when Drake is at a game. Oh, mm, that's a good stat. Let's good stat. find those. They're mostly at, Toronto Raptors Drake, games. Drake was at game five when he put up forty one. Uh, Golden State. Golden State. Right. So, like the first game. Uh, I know those numbers are going to be stupid, though. Drake and LeBron? Because yeah. Le- LeBron Le- routinely tr- roasts the Raptors. Like, they call him LeBronto. Yeah, yeah. Like, he yeah. routinely cooks Toronto. Yeah, so, so. I want to see I want to see how how well LeBron performs when Drake's in the building. Uh, we can yeah. talk about something else for a second. We can right, do so, that. shout out to Dave Lillard, the bubble MVP. Yeah, uh, man. Great job. Got Monty Williams, the coach of the bubble. Mm-hmm. Um, got Alvin Gentry from the Pelicans. Alvin Gentry got fired. Yeah. Uh, lots of coaching openings with the Brooklyn Nets and the, the, the Pelicans. Well, and uh, was it, was uh, Greg Popovich supposed to be going or discussed? So there's still, he's he's been rumored. He's been rumored the for Nets. the Brooklyn Nets. Job. To the Nets, yeah, to the Nets. But yeah, it's very that. interesting. I don't see Pop leaving though. Why would he leave though? I mean, it's Championship to go now. coach Kevin Durant. That guy oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, like that's I. I would love to see Pop in Brooklyn. I'd love to. I don't think it's happening though. I would love to see Kyrie Irving with a coach he can't like bully, bitch around. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I think the Brad Stevens shit didn't really work out that well because Brad Stevens is the Celtics. Like, he's no matter who comes and goes, he's the guy that makes that decision. Gosh, who did they? Who was they coach? Ty Lue. I mean. Tyler was Tyler. Tyler was Tyler. He came in half during the middle of the season. Like, you know, <laughs> David Blatt, pff, you know who that is. Right. I mean, you know who that is, but you know, he's not, you know. But I'd love to see Kyrie and 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 Popovich. I'd like to see how that works. Bro, I feel like they would yo, do well together. Of course. Watching like, Kyrie, yo, Kyrie and KD in the bubble would have been so fun to watch. Yo, okay. I feel like there's a lot of teams. So fun. There's a lot of things that would have been very different if everybody just bought in and everybody just kind of went. Because KD's clearly healthy. Like, like yeah, I don't think it's healthy as fuck. Yeah, I don't think Kyrie, I don't think I think Kyrie got hurt, but like I, I think he's if like gun to his head, like yo, Nigga, let's, let's go. We need you to play for the yeah. championship tomorrow. Like I think he'd play, but I don't know. That would have been tight. I, I can't wait to see them next year though, because the Brooklyn Nets look good. They got Karis LeVert who balled out against the Blazers. I mean Joe Harris. They got a lot of really good pieces, and they're gonna add some more with DeAndre Jordan, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving, and probably somebody else. They might flip those pieces for like a Bradley Beal or something and getting another star but you know Brooklyn Nets are a very interesting team going into next year man I'm really interested in that really interested in that what you got Jake LeBron in his last 18 games with Drake in attendance 12 and 6 mm, mm. averaging over 30 uh, 9 and 7 wow. mm. with two steals yeah, that's, that's, that's 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 pretty how the like f- the did you find course. that <laughs> How the fuck did you find them? Undefeated. Shout out to them. Shout out to the undefeated. Oh, okay. Shout out my guy Justin Tinsley over there. Um, Smoking section alumni, my hey. guy. Um, shit. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think we... He's got some big games. Game 5, Golden State. Game 7 versus San Antonio. Mm. He's knocked out the Raptors a few times. I, I feel mean, like LeBron. That's LeBron. LeBron go through go things. LeBron. Yeah. More out to, flowers to you, Mr. Out to James. James. Shout out to the King. <laughs> feel me? My guy. Uh, bro. Are we good? I think we're good. We What's good? today, Monday? And how we looking? We good? Yeah. Big Everybody. announcement coming tomorrow, baby. Oh, big announcement for you? Yes. Hey. Yes. It's Everybody Monday, so subscribe I want to do it yet. Yeah. I want to do it yet. Yeah. Everybody Monday. subscribe to this pod. Everybody subscribe to the show. Make sure you follow Low Key yeah. UHTN on yeah. all social media platforms for his yeah. big announcement tomorrow. Support the boys. Yeah. Say let's yeah, we'll be reposting. Let's yeah. get to it. 
Um, you know, shout out to everybody. Of course, continue to support the podcast by leaving comments, rating, liking, mm. sending photos, videos, social clips, wherever you see something, say less with Kaz. Yeah. Hit me, hit Lowe, yeah. hit Jake, yeah. hit Edit. Yeah. It's all gang over here, man. So gang, we continue gang. to grow. Gang, gang. You see it, you want to be part of something from the beginning. Yeah. You know what I mean? You do it the right way, you do it with your homies. Um, Thank you all for tuning in each and every week. We'll be back Thursday. Mm -hmm. And um, gosh, we'll have playoffs to talk about. Yeah. New records to talk about. Yeah. And just regular I'm sure some fuckery will happen between now and then. Safe safe bet. Somebody somebody will say something dumb or do something (laughs) dumb or some video will come out, whatever. But I I, I do want to say I really do appreciate everybody tuning into the show. Everybody's starting to really catch the wave and starting to spread. And, you know, we're going to continue doing that. So, like we do it all time, every time. Toast to the boy, yeah. stay free, stay safe, and always say less. And wear your fucking mask! There you go. <laughs> <laughs>